chapter 3901 regret run as a monster of legends was charging over countless people fled in terror not daring to fight it directly in front of this unknown existence they were all terrified as a result the ones attacking the dragon blood legion fled like the tide Boom. however when the violet pupil nine tail demon fox's claw fell those people were dumbfounded this legendary existence's attack wasn't as powerful as they had imagined a dozen powerful experts were enveloped by that attack and just as they thought that they were definitely dead they actually managed to block it but everyone was dumbfounded when they saw this result was this not the legendary violet pupil nine tail demon fox or was the legendary demon fox not as powerful as they had imagined was it just an exaggerated legend as those dozen powerful experts defended with all their power the violet pupil nine tail demon fox was actually knocked back it staggered forced to retreat a few steps before managing to regain its footing and stabilize itself fuck working with you has weakened me countless times i can't even kill a group of insects now the violet pupil nine tail demon fox roared furiously its killing intent erupting that terrifying killing intent did not match its power level what violet pupil nine tail demon fox it's nothing more than a bedtime story slaughter this violet pupil nine tail demon fox and our names will ring throughout history one of those powerful experts shouted and actually charged forward however he had just moved when the violet pupil nine tail demon fox bizarrely appeared behind him with a clench of its claws he was turned into a blood mist you little ants dare to say that you will kill me roared the violet pupil nine tail demon fox after killing that powerful expert it vanished once more when it reappeared it was hundreds of miles away it was actually capable of teleportation Boom once again a dozen experts were struck by its claws however they were not killed and merely blown away other than spatial movement do you have no other powerful techniques why are you only using this one technique demanded the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox it was speaking to by Zyol. i don't know how to use them admitted by Zyol timidly Full i really regret it now i shouldn't have accepted you as master your spiritual strength is weak let me take charge just support me barked the violet pupil nine tail demon fox yes by Zyol directly agreed he then just lay on the violet pupil nine tail demon foxy's head seemingly falling into a deep slumber a deafening roar erupted from the violet pupil nine tail demon fox reverberating through the air from its gaping maw a sinister ripple blasted outward just like that anyone caught within the path of this ripple met a grim fate disappearing without a trace in an instant the violet pupil nine tail demon fox eradicated hundreds of thousands of experts around it leaving behind only a haunting emptiness the horrifying power displayed by the fox sent shivers down the spines of all who witnessed its devastating attack what a garbage technique what's the point of just transporting people away muttered the violet pupil nine tail demon fox to itself irritably just then a terrifying expert came charging over this was a peak expert who had merged his supreme blood and supreme bone violet pupil nine tail demon fox my heavenly killin leopard race will accept you heavenly killin leopard race you aren't even fit to carry the shoes of my violet pupil nine tail demon fox race scram shouted the violet pupil nine tail demon fox it opened its mouth and shot out a sphere of light Boom. the sphere of light tore through the void blasting that heavenly genius away but it seemed that it didn't cause any substantial injuries to him 
you really piss me off i'm weakened to this extent what's the point then brat wake up i've decided to terminate our contract we'll both take back our spiritual seals roared the violet pupil nine tail demon fox hearing this the slumbering by Zyle instantly woke up he worriedly said don't since we've become companions we can't just leave we have to accompany each other in life and death after merging with the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox by Zyle found that it was incredibly terrifying but because his power was limited it was unable to excavate its full potential as a result having gained such a terrifying companion by Zyle refused to let it go even if he had to be beaten to death no matter what he had to keep it by his side accompany each other for what your three flower pupils are so weak if you were just limiting my power that would be one thing but you don't even know many pupil arts what's the point of being with you demanded the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox my boss will help me improve my pupil arts cried out by Zyle. and your lack of techniques retorted the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox my boss will teach me those too said by Zyle shamelessly bullshit your boss doesn't know pupil arts you can't trick me i only accepted you to use your pupil arts to awaken my sealed bloodline but you are worthless and can't help me this contract is supposed to be mutually beneficial but right now i can't gain anything it's a waste of time so i've decided to terminate the contract we can go separate ways and you can find someone more qualified than me shouted the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox by Zyle hastily said my mother is an expert in pupil arts it's just that my cultivation technique isn't high enough for her to transmit her superior pupil arts to me if you stay with me once we're out of the three thousand worlds i'll definitely work hard at cultivating pupil arts you'll be able to benefit then i don't believe you you are trash and i'm not gambling on this the contract has yet to be fully locked down by the heavenly dows so we can still part ways here but if more time passes this contract will be set in stone and it will no longer be possible to part i'm not taking that risk said the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox frostily no i refuse to rescind the contract by Zyle's voice trembled tinged with a hint of desperation and sorrow he couldn't bear the thought of relinquishing his contract with the fearsome violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox however no matter how he begged the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox refused to agree it urged by Zyle to do this voluntarily or it would be forced to kill him in order to terminate the contract hey don't you only want by Zyle to control stronger pupil arts what about the heavenly eye races pupil arts are the pupil arts of the six dao heavenly eye acceptable shouted guo ran suddenly what the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox was stunned staring at guo ran in shock are you telling the truth do you have the inheritance of the six dao heavenly eye i don't but my boss does that's the same as by Zyol having it if you don't believe me you can check my soul the memories are there said guo ran confidently the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox stared at guo ran for a moment before its body suddenly quivered an expression of wild delight appeared on its face all right then i'll accept your boss as master you by Zyol almost wept tch do you think you're worthy of my boss my boss has already formed a lifelong contract with another and there's no room for a second guo ran snorted with disdain his voice dripping with mockery and scorn hearing this the violet pupil nine tail demon fox hesitated after a long moment it finally said fine 
for the inheritance of the six dow heavenly eye i'll accept this brat yes by Zyol was overjoyed with such a powerful comrade he felt like his future was full of light however by Zyol's celebration was abruptly cut short as the void collapsed unleashing a torrent of ominous black kai in an instant a razor-sharp claw tore through the ruptured space hurtling toward by Zyol with malicious intent watch out this attack came out of nowhere and so suddenly that no one could react in time chapter three thousand nine hundred two unbeatable shi yang boom the earth quivered as the sharp claws tore through its surface leaving behind a trail of destruction in an instant giant cracks spread like a spider's web fracturing the once undisturbed land at this moment a figure wrapped in black kai appeared before their eyes with wings resembling those of a bat and the devil kai that overflowed out of them his existence shook the ten thousand daos Qian, yuo ran and xia chen's hearts quivered with a mixture of fear and disbelief as they looked at xi yang the body of an immemorial winged devil that he possessed now had a devil kai swirling around it it seemed that he had taken full control of this corpse xi yang's claws tore through the void as quickly as lightning not giving by xiol or the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox any chance to react however this attack still missed by xiol and the violet pupil nine-tail demon fox vanished right before the attack landed golden horn-winged devil race who do you think you are in front of my violet pupil nine-tail demon fox race you can only prostrate beneath our feet the violet pupil nine-tail demon fox appeared in the distance with bai xiol glaring at shi yang furiously however chi yang ignored it and just looked at long chen a sinister smile appeared on his face long chen your death is at hand chi yang's wings shook causing a surge of black kai to come out from his body he then shot toward the dragon blood legion's defenses like a black meteor dragon blood crossed slash as kyo ran cried out all the dragon blood warriors ignited their power in perfect synchrony their energy surging with the support of their collective power guo ran crossed his sabers and unleashed a dual saber strike at shi yang's head boom the strike blew shi yang's body back leaving an immense cross-shaped hole in the void within that ruined space fragments of space-time swirled and flew about everyone who saw this scene was flabbergasted by the world destroying power of all the dragon blood warriors boss buo ran is mighty seeing yuo ran managed to blow away the indomitable shi yang by xiol cheered however his cheers quickly turned silent within that ruined space black kai gushed out once again and shi yang flew out of it everyone could see black blood leaking out of the giant cross-shaped mark on his chest that attack had struck him directly however that was all this mark was no more than an inch deep what a terrifying physical body startled cries rang out against all expectations shi yang had used his physical body to withstand this devastating strike emerging with only the slightest trace of injuries his physical body must be countless times stronger than world domain divine items interesting you can actually damage this body but so what the immemorial winged devil's body is unimaginably powerful now that it has been nourished by primal chaos kai i'm in full control of it even if you exhaust yourselves hitting me you can't kill me shi yang laughed sinisterly he once more shot toward them how arrogant then let me experience the power of your so-called immemorial devil corpse as a cold and clear voice rang out golden light fell from the sky accompanied by a golden sword that slashed through the air by she she had come a golden lotus unfurled behind her enveloping her in its divine radiance with her special heavenly dao crown 
she appeared like a golden war goddess. Also, the golden sword that she was wielding was precisely the one that Long Chen had daringly stolen from the ghost ship. As this sword's ancient runes lit up, all the metal energy of the world seemed to merge into it. Oh, in front of this gleaming sword, Shi Yang raised his fierce claws. As the two formidable forces met, a magnificent burst of divine light erupted, resembling the explosion of the sun. Both Bai Shishi and Shi Yang retreated at the same time, being evenly matched in this exchange. Corpse Devil Spirit Awakening Devil Blood Ignition With a disdainful snort, Shi Yang formed hand seals swiftly, unleashing countless strange runes that manifested across his body. These eerie runes then writhed akin to a swarm of restless maggots, which imbued him with an unprecedented concentration of corpse devil Kai. Boom! Shi Yang once more attacked, his claws dancing through the air. Facing these attacks, Bai Shishi swung her sword, and with an explosive sound, she tumbled back. She was actually unable to stop the current, Shi Yang. Don't fight him directly. His corpse came from a heavenly tomb. It was a king of the immemorial era, and it might have been an existence above a divine venerate in its life. However, although he can control this corpse, the amount of power he can control is definitely limited. We can search for a weak point and an opportunity to counterattack, shouted Xia Chen. Having been in the heavenly tomb, he was clearer than anyone on just how terrifying this corpse was. An opportunity to counterattack? How laughable. This corpse has no weaknesses. Shi Yang laughed and chased after Bai Shi Shi. Heavenly rainbow flying star. Just as Shi Yang lunged toward Bai Shi Shi, the pill fairy gracefully descended from above, enveloped in rainbow flames that danced around her. She was like a rainbow flying through the world. Boom. Upon sensing her, Shi Yang's wings slammed down around him. Those wings were like a shield, blocking the pill fairy's attack. Hence, when the rainbow flames blasted him, he was merely knocked back several steps. However, even as Shi Yang retracted his wings, the vibrant rainbow flames persisted, stubbornly burning on. The intense flame energy clung fiercely to his wings, refusing to be extinguished. The heavenly rainbow flame really is powerful. But this golden horn winged devil was a master of flame energy. Your flames are unable to harm me. Shi Yang laughed. Even as his wings burned, he ignored it and shot straight at Long Chen. Fuck, I'm really pissed by your arrogance. Filled with fury, the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox let out a roar and suddenly appeared in front of Shi Yang. Its nine majestic tails blazed with an ethereal light, while its razor-sharp claws descended swiftly with unwavering precision. As their claws collided, a shower of sparks erupted, illuminating the space between them. The forceful impact then reverberated, causing a powerful shockwave that sent the violet pupil nine-tail demon fox flying backward. If I wasn't limited by that brat, do you think you could receive three blows from me? Driven back by the forceful blow, the violet pupil nine-tail demon fox seethed with increased fury, yet it found itself unable to do a thing. Cash, even if you all come at me together, you won't be able to stop me from killing Long Chen, Shi Yang sneered arrogantly. Provoked by this arrogant declaration, Bai Shishi's anger flared. She then pointed her sword at the sky, and a ray of sword Kai soared into the dome of the heavens. The next moment, the earth split open and a dazzling golden light erupted from the depths, flowing into her sword. As this light was absorbed, the ray of sword Kai grew larger, exuding a sharp aura that stabbed people's souls. Heaven-splitting slash. At this moment, Bai Shishi's eyes were filled with golden light. With a cold shout, her sword slashed down. The void let out a tearing sound as this sword broke all shackles of heaven and earth. 
Upon facing such a terrifying attack, Shi Yang's expression finally changed. Chapter 3903 Wang Tanyo attacks this sword had sucked away all the metal energy of the world, emitting an incredibly ancient aura. It was as though a dormant beast had been roused from slumber, and this sharp aura was the fearsome fangs of this beast. With each swing it effortlessly cleaved through the sky, shattering the very foundations of the ten thousand Daos. I refuse to believe a little immortal king can shake an immemorial devil corpse. As Shi Yang slammed his hands together, the bat-like wings on his back lit up, folding defensively in front of him. But everything he did was useless. When the golden sword fell, it still sliced through his wings, his blood spraying through the air. As the gigantic wings fell to the ground, most of the black runes on them shattered, dissipating into heaven and earth. As for his body, it tumbled back into the distance. With a final stamp in the air, a long line of ripples appeared beneath his feet. After he had stabilized himself, people saw his current appearance and were stunned. As half of those wings had been severed, the shortened wings didn't match the rest of his body, looking almost comical. To their surprise, there was also a line of blood on his head. By Shishi's sword, Kai hadn't just severed his wings, but also harmed his body. However, after passing through his defense, her sword Kai was clearly weakened and unable to cause a substantial injury. What a pity! Seeing this scene, Guo Ran and Zaya Chen both felt a wave of regret. Bai Shishi had such a terrifying power, but they had wasted this chance. If they had worked together with her terrifying offensive power, they would have had a large chance of killing Qi Yang. Shi Yang's corpse was too powerful, exceeding the scope of their understanding. Although he was unable to unleash this corpse's divine abilities, just its physical body wasn't something that they could deal with. Ahaha! Ha, unexpected! How unexpected! Someone could actually sever my wings! How shocking! Shi Yang looked at his severed wings in shock. However, he then clapped and praised her. But so what? No one in the three thousand worlds can stop me. This attack severed your wings, and the next one will cut off your head. Bai Shishi raised her sword again. Shi Yang sneered disdainfully. The attack just now sucked away almost this entire world's metal energy. Where are you going to get more energy? Furthermore, did you think that severing my wings would weaken me? How naive. Shi Yang then formed hand seals and Black Kai swirled out of his severed wings. In front of everyone's stunned gazes, his wings quickly regrew. He practically recovered in an instant. Everyone was dumbfounded by this. How could this be? How did Shi Yang possess such a terrifying recovery ability? This was an immemorial devil corpse. My corpse Devil Dao's inheritance isn't something trash like you can imagine. Having used Primal Chaos Kai to fully merge with this body, even if I can't activate its divine abilities, just its physical body alone is enough to crush you. Shi Yang laughed and flapped his recovered wings, charging forward with brute force. In response, Bai Shishi furiously raised her sword again. But this time, Yua Ran shouted, Don't be brash. This fellow definitely has a weakness. Only a well-timed attack can kill him, otherwise you're just wasting energy. None of them understood the corpse devil, Thou, and in particular, this was an immemorial devil corpse. They had to find its weak spot first before attacking. Who are you calling brash? Raged by Shiji. Gyuo ran, by Zayol said, ignore her. Her head sometimes gets muddled. When that happens, she won't listen to anyone, not even her father and mother. Only boss is an exception. After hearing this, an understanding expression appeared on their faces. At this time, the pill fairy moved forward. She was more cool-headed than by Shishi, so her sword merely danced, unleashing a net of flying rainbows that interrupted Shi Yang's assault. Her flying rainbows were made of the heavenly rainbow flame, 
capable of locking down the space around Chi Yang. Facing this obstacle, Shi Yang's claws tore through the void and the flames. But this net of the heavenly rainbow flame still caused his speed to plummet. It was like he was stuck in a swamp where all movements became difficult. Even so, Shi Yang furiously pushed through, using his wings as blades. He then stamped through the air, reaching for the pill fairy with his claws. However, a sword struck Shi Yang's claws at this moment, sending sparks flying in the air alongside Shi Yang. Bai Shi Shi had joined forces with the pill fairy. Thank you for your help, big sister. Seeing her come to her aid, the pill fairy smiled gratefully. You're the big sister, replied Bai Shi Shi. After saying this, she suddenly blushed, feeling embarrassed and vexed. With one sentence, she had set their status. The embarrassed by she she couldn't even look at others. With nowhere else to vent, she turned her wrath on Shi Yang, her sword dancing through the air. On the other hand, the pill fairy was flabbergasted, not understanding what by Shi Shi's words meant. Bai Shishi's expression suddenly grew odd after saying that, and she was attacking Shi Yang like he was the murderer of her father. Also, the pill fairy noticed all the people around Long Chen staring at her with complicated emotions. It was like they knew her. However, she didn't have time to ask questions. She also shot after Shi Yang, joining forces with Bai Shishi. Even with both of them working together, Shi Yang was just too powerful. He was constantly getting closer to Long Chen. As the two of them were unable to stop him, Yuo Ran and Bai Ziol decided to join the fray. Bai Ziol and the violet pupil nine tail demon fox would join forces to attack. But after every attack, the violet pupil nine tail demon fox wanted to curse furiously. It was weakened gravely, unable to even unleash its own power due to the limitations of Bai Ziol's cultivation base and skills. Fortunately, its physical body was also terrifying. Just by relying on that, it could clash with Shi Yang directly. Even if it couldn't beat Shi Yang, it wasn't afraid of being injured. With their combined might, Shi Yang was unable to press on and harm Long Chen, so he was incensed. For him, the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox was the greatest hindrance. Seeing his fury, though, the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox seemed to feel much better and worked even harder at stopping Shi Yang. The unhappier Shi Yang was, the happier it was. Seeing them all join forces to stop Shi Yang, the surrounding experts saw their chance. Hence, they collapsed on the Dragon Blood Legion once more, starting another chaotic battle. Bastards! It's useless even if you stop me. Others will still eliminate Long Chen, roared Shi Yang. Perhaps his mouth was prophetic. As soon as he said this, thunder shook the world. With the lightning weaving together, it was like a heavenly tribulation was descending. Within this lightning, they saw a streak of lightning shooting toward Long Chen. From within the Dragon Blood Legion, Jiang Lei's expression changed. Wash out. That's Wang Tianyao. I, Wang Tianyao, will kill you today, Long Chen. A thunderous roar reverberated. Even before his voice spread, a lightning clad figure already appeared in front of the Dragon Blood Legion with incomparable speed. However, just as he reached them, a black meteor fell from the heavens and perfectly struck Wang Tianyao. Boom! With a heaven-shaking explosion, the sea of lightning was blown apart. The world darkened as an enormous figure covered the sky. Chapter 3904 Mankai arrives at this moment. A brilliant bird cry rang out. It was a sound that seemed to come from all the way back in the desolate era. It penetrated people to the depths of their souls awaking their most primal fear. This was an absolutely enormous beast, but it was so fast, akin to a bolt of lightning. This divine bird had spat out a black ray of divine light that sent Wang Tianyao flying back. 
and before he could react in any way, a heaven-covering wing slammed down upon him. Before the wing landed, its berserk power already caused the void to collapse and astral winds to unfurl. Seeing this scene, countless people fled in terror. Facing this attack, Wing Tianiao shouted and took out an ancient tower. As the tower rapidly grew, it was like a mountain protecting him. Wing Tianiao had possessed two priceless treasures. One was his lightning sword, the wild blade. The other was this lightning tower. Since the wild blade had been taken by Lei Linger, now he only had this tower. But this tower was also an exceedingly terrifying divine item with immense power. At this moment, the tower's lightning surged out, blocking this giant wing. Boom! The impact caused the world to shudder. The next moment, both the giant bird and the tower were knocked back. The tower smashed into the ground, directly blowing apart some experts that couldn't flee in time. Even city lords were as weak as ants in front of this power. As for the divine bird, its wings slammed into the air, and it instantly stabilized its body. Only then did people see that it was a black, sparrow-shaped bird. Only its wings were covered in silver feathers. Cloud chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow. Or is it a mutated species? exclaimed the violet pupil nine-tail demon fox. When this divine bird descended, people saw a beautiful woman standing atop it. She was so beautiful that it looked like she had walked out of a painting, possessing a grandeur that made her seem transcendent, untouched by the mortal world of dust. The entire world became a wonderland due to her very existence, as she possessed a fantasy-like splendor around her. By she she considered herself peerless in terms of looks, but when she saw this beautiful woman, she couldn't help feeling inferior. This woman was like beautiful jade untouched by a single impurity. It was like all the world's beauty was concentrated in her. Big Sister Menkai, when that peerless beauty appeared, Duo Ran, Zaya Chen, and the rest of the Dragon Blood Legion unleashed heaven shaking cheers. Suddenly, the divine bird that she was on vanished, transforming into a beautiful maiden who appeared to be around thirteen years old. Clad in a black dress whose sleeves possessed a silver light, her deep eyes were filled with delight. Cloud, Guo ran, and the others instantly recognized her. Although her appearance had changed a bit, they still recognized her aura. Mankai didn't seem to hear everyone's cheers. Instead, she was staring in disbelief at the pill fairy. King Shuin, is it really you? Menkai was filled with so much emotion that her voice quivered with a sobbing tone. Big sister, do you know me? The pill fairy stared blankly at the peerlessly beautiful Menkai. Menkai smiled. Her eyes were wet, but her voice was delighted. That's not important. What's important is that you are you. Both. Just as the pill fairy was distracted, Shi Yang found an opportunity to charge through their blockade. He shot toward Long Chen. Scram! A cute cry rang out. After that, an enormous figure descended upon Shi Yang like lightning, its wing slashing toward him like a blade. It was Cloud who had shot over instantaneously. Shi Yang was sent tumbling back by her. As for Cloud, she also staggered facing Xi Yang's power. However, all on her own, she had managed to force Xi Yang back, showing a display that was enough to shock everyone. Cloud then spread her wings, and her claws struck Xi Yang like lightning, leaving Xi Yang feeling shocked and enraged. Long Chen's side was gaining more and more experts, and all these reinforcements were incredibly powerful. He was getting uneasy. Hence, he attacked Cloud frantically. After exchanging a dozen blows, Cloud was gradually forced back. This immemorial devil corpse that he was controlling was just too powerful. After all, Cloud was only in the Immortal King realm and was naturally at a disadvantage. Boom Cloud suddenly opened her mouth, unleashing a ray of black light, 
that directly struck Shi Yang in the chest. As a result, Shi Yang felt an irresistible force send him flying. Shi Yang's body was blasted back by the black light, leaving a long ditch in the ground. Any experts in his path were directly crushed. Since Cloud couldn't beat him in terms of the physical body, she directly switched to unleashing one of her divine abilities. Caught off guard, Shi Yang was sent flying. When Shi Yang stood up once again, he coughed up blood. For the first time ever since controlling this corpse, Shi Yang coughed up blood. Yu Ran and the others were surprised by this and overjoyed. Cloud was truly terrifying, being able to directly harm Shi Yang at his core. It had to be known that even Bai Shishi's attack that had severed his wings couldn't harm his core. Even with so many people attacking him together just to find his weakness or to exhaust him, they had been unable to succeed. Unexpectedly, it was Cloud's attack that was the first to truly injure Shi Yang. Good job, Cloud. Till that fellow, Xia Chen cried out in delight. As long as they could eliminate Shi Yang, everything would be easier. Cloud let out a loud bird cry. In an instant, her enormous figure appeared in front of Shi Yang, her claws reaching toward him like hooks. Cloud let out a torrent of attacks, forcing Shi Yang back repeatedly. She would occasionally spit out more rays of divine light, and Shi Yang tried to dodge them, but couldn't. As a result, he was quickly covered in various wounds and constantly spitting out blood. Unexpectedly, Cloud's innate divine ability was able to seriously harm Shi Yang. It seemed that his devil corpse was perfectly countered by Cloud. Shi Yang roared furiously, but he had no way to counterattack. Although he was in control of this corpse, with his cultivation base, he couldn't activate its divine abilities. He was only capable of fighting with the most basic physical attacks. On the other hand, Cloud's attack contained a special bloodline power, causing damage with every blow. Now, Shi Yang began to panic, but he couldn't think of any solution. Most infuriating of all, despite her enormous size, Cloud wasn't clumsy at all. She was as quick as lightning. Not being able to run from her or beat her, Shi Yang could only grit his teeth. Ooh. At the core of the battlefield, Wang Tianyao had reached the Dragon Blood Legion with his lightning tower, planning on directly barging through. But at this moment, a pair of snow white, slender hands directly landed on the lightning tower. Chapter 3905 Golden Bell She is blocking a divine weapon with her bare hands. Startled cries rang out. This lightning tower was bigger than a mountain, and in comparison, Meng Kai was as small as an ant in front of it. Meng Kai was like an elegant fairy with a mortal Kai swirling around her, looking as though a strong breeze might blow her over. Hence, when the lightning tower violently crashed toward her, Guo ran, Xia Chen, and the others' hearts instantly clenched. To their surprise, the moment Meng Kai's hands pierced the endless lightning surging out of the tower, a giant golden bell appeared behind her. When her hands touched the tower, that golden bell's originally dim runes suddenly blazed with light. After that, the bell rang with a deep and sonorous sound that spread far and wide, enveloping the entire battlefield. It was a beautiful sound that intoxicated people. In an instant, all the noises in heaven and earth faded. Only the sound of the bell continued to hang in the air. As for Wang Tianyao, he was originally pushing the tower, but all of a sudden his body shook and he coughed up blood. A figure identical to him looked as if it was going to leave his body. Wang Tianyao was shocked. That was his Yuan spirit. This one ring of Meng Kai's bell almost made his Yuan spirit escape his body. Panicked, Wang Tianyao then grabbed his Yuan spirit and spat out some blood onto his hands. After forming hand seals, he successfully dragged his Yuan spirit back into his body. At the same time, countless experts on the battlefield plummeted from the sky akin 
to droplets of falling rain. Their Ewan spirits still hung in the air, while their bodies were now soulless objects. Of the trillions of experts on the battlefield, a full tenth had their Ewan spirits removed from their bodies. The others were stunned, having never encountered something so terrifying in all their lives. In an instant, the sound of that bell caused those with weak spiritual strength to have their Ewan spirits leave their bodies. As for the slightly stronger experts, they felt their Ewan spirits trying to leave, so they used all their power to keep them in. Only those with powerful Ewan spirits felt their souls slightly shake. They temporarily lost consciousness, but that was it. However, the sound of the bell continued to hang in the air. Other than the people on the side of the Dragonblood Legion, even city lords felt their heads buzzed as if they had been struck in the head. In that instant, countless experts attacking the Dragonblood Legion died. The Dragonblood warriors took this chance to slaughter them. As those people had yet to recover, they were annihilated. This is our chance. Lai Kai and Song Minjuan, who were in the midst of combat with those experts, shouted at the same time. They directly gave up on the counterattack and formed hand seals. After that, the malevolent spirits behind them rapidly grew. Both of the malevolent spirits then opened their mouths wide and inhaled. In an instant, those Yuan spirits felt a terrifying suction, involuntarily flying over toward those mouths. No, those Yuan spirits screamed and struggled, but those malevolent spirits had a special devouring power for Yuan spirits. No matter how the latter struggled, it was useless. Millions of Yuan spirits directly flowed into their mouths. As those malevolent spirits absorbed millions of Yuan spirits, their auras rapidly grew, rippling and growing like an angry sea. After devouring them, they returned to Lai Kai and Song Minjuan's manifestations. Both of their auras also multiplied in power instantly. These two malevolent spirits were spiritual creatures that Lai Kai and Song Minjuan were raising, and they specialized in devouring Yuan spirits to cultivate. Back then, their master had helped both of them choose some life spirits to merge in their manifestations. There had been countless powerful spiritual creatures for them to choose from, and these two had been the worst of all of them. But Lai Kai and Song Minjuan had immediately set their sights on them. These two malevolent spirits had been inside their sect for countless years, and no one had wanted them during that period. That was because their growth was too slow and the conditions for their growth were too harsh. Thus, no heavenly geniuses wanted them. However, for Lai Kai and Song Minjuan, those two malevolent spirits might have been made for them. These malevolent spirits were powerful, allowing them to make up for their slightly lacking offense. For others, these malevolent spirits grew too slowly. But for the two of them who came from the Dragonblood Legion, that was no problem. Wasn't it just devouring you and spirits to grow? The Dragonblood Legion always had endless enemies and countless battles. Why would they worry about their not being you and spirits to devour? Those two malevolent spirits had been ignored for countless years, suffering from the arrogance of others. Hence, after taking Lai Kai and Song Minjuan as masters, they were instantly won over. In fact, when the malevolent spirits were still weak, Lai Kai and Song Minjuan fed them their own soul essence to strengthen them, not doubting them at all. As a result, those two malevolent spirits were now fiercely loyal to the two of them. Another reason malevolent spirits weren't usually chosen was because they could devour their masters. But Lai Kai and Song Minjuan were the most outstanding experts in the Dragonblood Legion, and affected by Long Chen, they chose to firmly believe in their comrades. Trust had to be mutual, so they would accompany each other in life and death. It was due to this treatment that the two malevolent spirits were loyal to death toward them. With their spirits connected, they fought flawlessly together. After absorbing so many Yuan spirits, they directly converted that into their own power. 
that was one of the most terrifying abilities of malevolent spirits at the same time as their power crazily grew half of it was transmitted to their masters causing Lai Kai and Song Minjuin to grow stronger as well. Little brats, come and face your deaths. With their power soaring, they blasted away the opposition. They swept through the enemy experts, going back and forth through their midst before returning to the Dragonblood Legion. Originally, in order to lighten the pressure on the Dragonblood Legion, the two of them had gone out as the vanguard, blocking experts from different directions so that the Dragonblood Legion wouldn't be surrounded. This way, the enemy's attacks wouldn't be fully concentrated, and the Dragonblood Legion would be able to withstand the impact of millions of experts attacking them. However, that had actually put them in an awkward spot. They had been surrounded and unable to move freely. But now that they had absorbed so many Yuan spirits and their power had grown, their enemies could no longer stop the two of them from returning to the Dragon Blood Legion's side. They were able to control the tempo of the battlefield there. At this time, the battlefield was in chaos as that one move from Mankai terrified everyone. The sound of her bell was practically the reaper of lives, causing those with weaker Yuan spirits to quiver in terror. A full tenth of the experts on this battlefield were wiped out in an instant. Although they were the weakest of them all, it had to be known that those that dared to set foot onto this battlefield were no weaklings. As for Wang Kaniel, he was also horrified. Just now, he had been the one to bear the greatest impact of that attack, and his Yuan spirit had almost left his body. If that had happened, he would definitely be dead. With so many experts around, they wouldn't give him any chance to merge back into his body. He was now covered in icy sweat. This beautiful woman in front of him actually had such a terrifying move. Suddenly, the lightning tower rumbled and flew toward Meng Kai. What do you think you're doing? Wang Tianyao shouted in shock and fury as he found that his lightning tower was actually not listening to his orders. Chapter 3906 Powerful Enemies Appear People were startled. Just as they thought that Wang Tianyao was using the lightning tower to attack Meng Kai, Wang Tianyao suddenly cried out in a panic. Get back here! Wang Tianyao roared, forming hand seals and spitting out blood onto his palm. As a result, the lightning tower quivered and paused in the air. To deal with him, Meng Kai changed her hand seals, spreading invisible spiritual strength toward the tower. After that, the heavenly Tao crown behind her head glowed brightly, and the golden bell quivered. It was like an invisible hand was pulling the tower, causing it to shudder. Lightning raged within and around it, but it didn't unleash any attacks. It seemed confused. Seeing this scene, Guo Ran was the first to react and directly attacked Wang Tianyao. If Wang Tianyao couldn't control the lightning tower, then this was the best chance to kill him. Boom! When Guo Ran arrived, Wang Tianyao summoned a lightning shield that blocked his attack. However, Bai Ziol and the violet pupil nine tail demon fox rushed over as well, followed by Bai Shishi and the pill fairy. Against them all, Wang Tianyao's lightning shield instantly shattered. Seeing them coming, Wang Tianyao roared furiously and spat out more blood onto his hand seals. Boom! The lightning tower finally escaped Meng Kai's control. It then appeared in front of Wang Tianyao and smashed toward Guo Ran and the others exuding lightning that formed into a giant net enveloping all of them. Be suppressed. Wang Tanya was enraged. His wild blade had been taken by Lei Linger, and he was thinking about how to get it back. But then, Meng Kai's powerful spiritual strength actually disturbed his control over his lightning tower. If he hadn't used up a huge amount of his supreme essence blood to control the lightning tower, he might have lost control over it. But with the support of his supreme essence blood, 
This terrifying lightning tower was unleashing a terrifying power. As the streaks of lightning weaved together, Yuo ran and the others were instantly caught. As space collapsed, their bodies began to shrink. They were pulled toward the tower. But all of a sudden, a giant golden bell struck the tower, and its clear sound once more rang out. Boom! As a result, the tower's lightning net instantly exploded, which let Guo Ran and the others then regain their freedom and leave the range of the lightning tower. They felt a burst of fear after escaping. This lightning tower possessed a terrifying power of law. Just now, their cultivation bases seemed to be sealed by some mysterious power, making them unable to unleash their own power. Law Chen, your death is at hand. Suddenly, the void shook and the figure of a woman materialized. When she saw Long Chen, her killing intent instantly exploded. The Nine Underworld Luacha, another terrifying assassin, had come. HMPH, Long Chen's life is mine. I'll kill anyone who dares to touch him. Another arrogant voice rang out. At the same time, a myriad of flames descended from the heavens, causing the temperature of the world to instantly soar. Yin Chan Sheng had also come. Now he had a heavenly Tao crown on the back of his head, and his faith energy filled the space around him. After that, the world shook as another figure emerged. This enormous being's presence alone caused the very land beneath him to quake with each resounding step, and his blood kai was akin to a raging sea filling the sky. This was the underworld eye giant that Long Chen had encountered during his tribulation. Before the surrounding experts could snap out of their surprise, the sound of ten thousand beasts roaring rang out. Another powerful expert came with the aura of ten thousand beasts on his body, his gaze sharp and incisive. The nine underworld Luacha, Yin Chengsheng, the underworld eye giant, and this terrifying beast cultivator all appeared at once. Other than them, there were also many unfamiliar faces around. They were all peak experts with powerful blood kiss and electric gazes. The incoming experts were those who had just finished absorbing the primal chaos Kai in their own treasure lands. For them to come only now, it meant that their treasure lands had an insufficient concentration of primal chaos Kai, thus needing a prolonged period for absorption or they had such immense potential that they required a larger amount of primal chaos kai in time to condense a heavenly Tao crown. Long Chen's life is mine. I will kill anyone who interferes, shouted the nine underworld Yuacha. With a single step, she materialized in front of the Dragon Blood Legion, thrusting her sword. From the outside, it looked like a simple and direct attack, but the tip of her sword actually quivered and unleashed a sonic boom. In this critical moment, a golden sword cleaved through the air, aiming at the nine underworld Luacha's back. The nine underworld Luacha was too fast, leaving by Shishi with no chance to intervene. Hence, she could only attack her in an attempt to save the others. Slut scram! This interference enraged the nine underworld Luacha. Her sword spun, directly striking Bai Shishi's sword, instantly ruining Bai Shishi's sword balance. At that moment, the nine underworld Luacha vanished. Bai Shishi's expression changed, and without hesitation, a golden shield appeared in her left hand. Oh, the shield had just started to condense when it was shattered by a sharp sword piercing toward her throat. It was unbelievably fast. But just as this sharp sword was about to reach her throat, a golden light flashed in Bai Shishi's eyes. A palm-sized golden lotus then materialized in front of her throat. When the nine underworld Liuacha's sword struck that golden lotus, sparks flew through the air, and the impact caused the nine underworld Liuacha to stagger. As a counter, Bai Shishi swung her sword at the nine underworld Liuacha's waist, cutting her in two. However, just as she was cut, her figure vanished. 
When she reappeared, she was already miles away. Bai Shishi's move was beyond the nine underworld Yuach's expectations. Her killing sword had locked onto Bai Shishi, so she had thought that she could kill Bai Shishi with this blow. Fortunately, Bai Shishi was capable of shrinking her manifestation and condensing it in front of her, transforming it into an unbreakable lotus. Bai Shishi's sword then slashed her waist. Although the nine underworld Yuachi used her movement art to dodge immediately, the slash still left a cut on her waist. Slut, you're courting death. A sewer doppelganger. The nine underworld Yuacha split in two and attacked Bai Shishi at once. Facing this terrifying assassin, Bai Shishi's golden sword danced. However, she was unable to counterattack and could only passively defend because the nine underworld Yuacha was just too fast. Her two figures could mimic the attacks of thousands of people at once, filling the world with illusory images. Suddenly, sword light flashed and a head flew into the air. Just like that, all the illusory images surrounding Bai Shishi vanished. Now, only one nine underworld Liuacha remained, much to Bai Shishi's astonishment. Yu Zifand was standing in front of Bai Shishi, looking at the nine underworld Liuacha coldly. You're at a disadvantage against an assassin. Leave this one to me. Will you be all right? Bai Shishi couldn't help asking as Yu Zifeng had just exhausted himself in an exhausting fight. He hadn't fully recovered yet. I've recovered 80% of my power. It should be enough to deal with her. As Yu Zifeng pointed his sword at the nine underworld Liuacha, a sharp aura locked onto her. You dare to look down on me? Courting death, enraged beyond measure, the nine underworld Liuacha's disheveled hair billowed around her in a chaotic frenzy. A strange mark then appeared on her forehead. In an instant, her aura became frighteningly cold, as if she had been possessed by a devil god. Chapter 3907 You Should Die Instead An illusory figure appeared behind the nine underworld Liuacha, so indistinct that it wasn't possible to tell if it was male or female. However, it exuded immense desolate kai, and its eyes glowed with divine light. That light seemed to pass through space-time, seemingly looking through from the depths of hell, causing people's souls to shake. A sure storm slash. As the nine underworld Yuacha shouted, she pointed her sword at Yu Zifen. An icy and sinister aura then radiated from her transforming her into a being utterly detached from humanity. When light slashed out of her sword, it pierced through space-time, unleashing a slicing sound akin to the sound of the very laws of heaven and earth being sliced apart. However, in front of this berserk attack, Yu Zifin looked completely indifferent. Without any manifestation supporting him, no raging gusts or bloodline pressure could be seen around him. But when his sword shone with divine light, it was as though it had come alive, its sharp aura causing the heavens to quiver. Rather than retreating or blocking, he thrust forward into her attack. When the sound of their swords clashing rang out, the surrounding space collapsed and exploded, forming a giant black hole around them. When power is compressed to the limit, it can actually cause such destruction. This black hole was like the gaping maw of a monster and drew everyone's attention. Even heavenly Dao runes were being absorbed by it, forming a terrifying vortex. However, that terrifying black hole didn't seem to affect Yu Zifin or the nine underworld Yuacha. They both were unleashing killing blows with their swords. One was a peak assassin and the other was a peak sword cultivator. As top-tier sword users, their attacks struck like lightning, unleashing hundreds of moves in an instant. As a result, sword images filled their battlefield, covering up their bodies. As soon as you make a single mistake, you'll never recover. The nine underworld Yuach's voice rang out from the sea of swords. Since I set foot on my Tao, I've never made a mistake. It didn't happen in the past, and it won't happen now. As for you, 
once the power you're drawing on is exhausted you will fall to my sword responded Yuzifen coldly the black holes surrounding them expanded continuously as they unleashed a ferocious onslaught of attacks after that cracks resembling streaks of black lightning also spread through the air but in truth they were the spatial cracks generated by the force of their swords strikes as Yuzifen fought the nine underworld Yuacha Wang Tianiao, the underworld Ai Giant, Yin Chang Sheng, and the mysterious beast cultivator all charged at Long Chen. Mang Kai, the Pill Fairy, Bai Shishi, and Bai Zhao moved to stop them, handling one of them each. You want to buy time for Long Chen? Keep dreaming. Yin Chang Sheng sneered at the Pill Fairy in front of him completely ignoring the flame of nets she summoned just as he was about to strike her net his body became illusory and passed through her blockade like it was nothing the pill fairy's expression changed yin tang sheng was also a flame cultivator and he knew that the pill fairy's heavenly rainbow flame was difficult to deal with as a result he refused to fight her directly, instead using his faith domain to pass through her blockade. The Dragonblood Legion won't let you be so arrogant. Dragonblood crossed slash. Duo Ran let out a furious roar, and all the Dragonblood warrior's power concentrated in his blades once more. A mantis trying to stop a chariot. You don't know your own power. Do you take me as the old Yin Cheng Shen? sacred flame god slaying spear yin cheng sheng smiled in the face of the dragon blood legion's combined power he simply thrust his spear and a giant flame spear shot out like the spear of a god boom facing the impact head on guo ran felt like he had been struck by a god's hammer causing him to cough up blood but he wasn't the only one suffering Every dragon blood warrior also coughed up blood alongside him, having to bear the backlash together. His attack contains sacred Kai. The concentration of his faith energy surpasses even that of Jai Wu Ming, warned Xia Chen. He then sent his talismans shooting at Yin Cheng Sheng. Seeing the talismans, Yin Cheng Sheng merely sneered and swung his spear, crushing those talismans. The space around those talismans then twisted and turned. You want to transport me away? With that little bit of power, you must be dreaming. If I want to kill Long Chen, no one can stop me, sneered Yin Cheng Sheng. Shut up. Long Chen's life is mine. The nine underworld Liuacha let out a furious roar. However, she was blocked by Yu Zifin and unable to charge over, enraging her. Now, a golden bell was blocking Yin Cheng Sheng's path, so he smashed his spear at it. To his surprise, the impact of the collision sent him falling back, causing him to stumble and grunt. At the same time, as his spear made contact with the bell, countless people on the battlefield cried out in horror. As expected, after the golden bell was struck, countless people on the battlefield stiffened, and their Yuan spirits came flying out of their bodies. In a chilling spectacle, two giant malevolent spirits materialized and inhaled like whales, devouring all the Yuan spirits. This combination attack caused waves of lifeless bodies to fall from the sky, transforming the once densely packed battlefield into a desolate landscape. Tens of millions of experts had their Yuan spirits stripped out of their bodies and then devoured by those malevolent spirits. This attack surpassed even the viciousness of Wang Tianyo's previous strike, both in its sheer brutality and its expansive reach. It instilled unparalleled terror within the hearts of those who witnessed it. The world domain divine item, the soul reaping golden bell. You are from the heavenly soul hall. Yin Changsheng's expression changed as he recognized this divine item. Correct. Meng Kai slowly descended from the heavens, blocking Yin Changsheng's path. Ha ha ha, how unexpected. The heavenly soul hall that never sticks their hands into the affairs of the mundane world has actually lowered themselves. Unfortunately, your status is unable to scare me off. 
even if the heavenly soul elder personally came it would be useless if i yin chang sheng want to kill someone no one can stop me declared yin chang sheng long chen is my beloved and i will protect him you cannot harm him unless you walk over my corpse said main kai her beautiful face full of determination these words drove countless people mad with jealousy how good was long chen's character how could he make such a peerless goddess willing to sacrifice her life to protect him then you can just die yin cheng sheng let out a furious roar as his faith energy tumbled forward like raging waves his spear stabbed toward meng kai meng kai drew a resolute breath as she summoned the golden bell before her the next moment she pressed her hands on the bell and a blood-colored rune appeared on her forehead seeing this countless experts fled for their lives if this attack landed who knew just how many of them would survive i think you should die instead considering how ugly you are what's the point of living just as meng kai was condensing her full power a lazy voice rang out a ray of light then struck yin cheng sheng's spear chapter three thousand nine hundred eight mo nian steals from the master boom the ray of light shimmered with a brilliant golden color surrounding an arrow with an array of runes around it upon contact with yin cheng sheng's spear the arrow erupted into a powerful explosion the force of the explosion forced yin cheng sheng back disrupting his attack and leaving it in ruins emerging from the dissipating smoke the figure of mo nian appeared before him looking poised and ready to fight the current mo nian had a heavenly dao crown on the back of his head as for the palace in his manifestation it now exuded a titanic strength every blade of grass every inch of the palace looked real as if the manifestation was its own world that had covered up the real world the palace gave off sacred light that enveloped mo nian giving him a graceful and majestic appearance he now seemed to appear even more transcendent and noble however that stubborn fearless and arrogant smile on his face and the wretchedness in his eyes ruined the overall image yin chang sheng furiously shouted mo nian you street rat you stole from me last time i'll be taking your life as repayment as yin cheng sheng laid eyes on his mortal enemy intense anger welled up within him causing his eyes to turn a fiery shade of red the next moment he unleashed the power of his faith domain manifesting it like a mountain to crush mo nian beneath its weight the moment yin chang sheng launched his attack a disturbance rippled through the void unexpectedly mo nian already appeared beside him with lightning-like speed his shovel mercilessly struck yin chang sheng's face from a bizarre angle as a result before yin chang sheng could fully release his power he was already sent flying through the air a ha ha success success i finally learned long chen's trump card ha 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 as expected without killing intent it isn't easy to sense ha 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 after mo nian used his shovel to slap yin cheng sheng away everyone was stunned this attack was completely sudden and outside everyone's expectations yuo ran xia chen and the others also felt mo nian's movements to be a bit familiar seeing that his angle was very similar to long chen's divine face slapping art right now mo nian was dancing in excitement as if he had just learned some peerless technique leaving people flabbergasted courting death yin chang sheng felt a stinging pain on his face this attack might not be fatal but it was unbearable not due to the pain but because of the naked humiliation thus yin chang sheng's faith domain erupted like raging flames furiously clenching his teeth he shot at mo nian to his surprise mo nian abruptly appeared beside him again smacking a shovel at his face once more Boo. but this time yin cheng sheng was the one sending mo nian tumbling back oh what's going on why didn't it work this time 
Mo Nian cried out dispiritedly. Die! Yin Chengsheng furiously pressed the attack against Mo Nian. Hey, hey, slow down a bit. I'm still not used to this technique. Brother, give me some face. Let me try it a few more times. No, just once, a single time. Mo Nian repeatedly retreated in front of Yin Chengsheng's furious attacks, but his mouth didn't slack. Go fuck yourself, you little... Yin Changsheng cursed him furiously with a torrent of abuse. Even after fighting countless heavenly geniuses and killing countless monsters, he had never encountered such a shameless opponent before. Just as Yin Changsheng was cursing, Mo Nian's shovel whistled toward him. Yin Changsheng hastily dodged, but as a result, the shovel hit him on his head with an explosive sound, leaving him dizzy, stars spinning in his eyes. A large lump then swelled out of his head. Damn, I missed. Mo Nian cried out, feeling vexed. He was intentionally angering Yin Tingshen to create opportunities for himself. After all, he wasn't Long Chen. This was just a technique that he had copied from Long Chen. As his combat experience was not as great as Long Chen's and he didn't specialize in close quarters combat, Despite having trained in this technique secretly, there was still a definite skill gap between them. The first time was a success because it was unexpected. In their previous fight, Mo Nian had intentionally kept some distance to make Yin Changsheng think that he would never suddenly appear beside him. The second time, he did it intentionally to anger Yin Changsheng, but Yin Changsheng was still a powerful expert. So Mo Nian naturally didn't succeed in using the same technique twice in a row. This technique was a casual blow without the intention of physically harming the opponent, so its power was very limited. After all, its effectiveness lay in its mental damage. For Yin Changsheng to be struck again, his fury instantly exploded. Countless spear images then shot out of his spear, forcing Mo Nian back. Almost struck by his spear several times, Mo Nian cried out, Hey, brother, that time didn't count. Slow down a bit and let's try again. All I'm asking for is one more slap. I won't let you lose out. I have money right here. Name any price. My family business is doing well, and I'm not lacking money. In response, Yin Chengsheng's spear unleashed a tempest of attacks, akin to a flower of spear images blooming. Each frost carried an overwhelming surge of faith energy that could reduce anyone struck by it to mere dust. To Yin Chengsheng's surprise, his overwhelmingly powerful domain, which was capable of rendering others immobile, didn't seem to affect Mo Nian. Mo Nian was easily dodging and taunting Yin Chengsheng. Although he barely dodged several times, from the start, Yin Chengsheng was unable to even touch his hair. Frustration consumed Yin Chengsheng as he clenched his teeth tightly in anger. Finally, after dodging hundreds of times and being surrounded by Yin Chengsheng's attacks, Mo Nian had no choice but to put away his shovel. He then took out his bow and used the string to block one of Yin Chengsheng's attacks. The string merely quivered, and borrowing its elasticity, Mo Nian neutralized Yin Changsheng's attack. After that, Mo Nian flew back and raised his bow. An arrow shot up like a streak of lightning, reaching Yin Changsheng in an instant, but it was blocked by Yin Changsheng's spear. Since you want to fight properly, let's fight. I heard from Long Chen that you have a spiritual beast. Summon it. Let me see how strong you are together, said Mo Nian solemnly. I don't need to summon it against you, Yin Changsheng waved his spear and pointed it at Mo Nian with a sneer. However, he suddenly felt a gust of wind. Once again, a shovel swiftly struck him in the face, interrupting his intended action. This time, the shovel landed solidly, causing Yin Changsheng to be like a spinning top thrown into the distance. Idiot, I offered you money, but you refused. Well, now I'm not giving you any money for this. Hee hee, how's that? Bite me. 
Mo Nyan smiled at him. When he took his combat posture, it was a con just for this opportunity. Mo Nyan waved his butt at Yin Cheng Cheng in the distance while showing off his shovel. That appearance of his was definitely enraging. I'll go all out against you. Yin Cheng Cheng was so furious that his eyes turned red, looking like an ominous devil now. Mo Nyan had successfully driven him mad. Supreme blood, heavenly deity possession. In an instant, the aura of Yin Cheng Cheng's supreme blood erupted. Flames tinged with a deep crimson hue ignited around him, exuding an intense and ominous presence. Is he mad? He's burning his supreme blood. Chopped cries rang out. Burning his supreme blood was a self-destructive technique that exacted a toll on his life force and longevity. At this moment, an enormous figure appeared behind Yin Chen Sheng and a berserk divine might crash down, making the heavenly Dao's wail. It was like this world was about to be crushed. Mo Nian, I will rip the skin off of your body and crush your bones to dust. As Yin Chang Sheng's aura grew explosively, even his voice changed, resonating with a bloody feeling. Die! Yin Chang Sheng then stepped forward. Heaven and earth collapsed beneath his feet as he shot at Mo Nian. Chapter 3909 Flying into a rage when this figure appeared behind Yin Cheng Sheng, a wave of divine might raged in the air. After that, Yin Cheng Sheng's bloodline fluctuations and his every breath resonated with such force that the heavenly Daos themselves trembled in response. When his spear pierced through the air, it locked down heaven and earth, tearing through space straight at Mo Nian. What is this? Is it the master of your sacred pill hall? Mo Nian shouted as he stared at that giant figure. But just as the spear was about to reach him, his figure swayed and the spear passed by him. What? Seeing this, countless people cried out in shock. This spear of Yin Chang Sheng had locked down heaven and earth with such power that even people outside the battlefield could sense that terrifying lock. But Mo Nian dodged it just like that, completely unaffected by it. Yin Cheng Sheng let out furious roars and repeatedly attacked, but each of his blows missed. Mo Nian was like a slippery fish. Despite clearly being locked down, he kept easily dodging. It made no sense according to the standards of the cultivation world, causing Yin Cheng Sheng to feel like he might explode in fury. Hey, can I ask you a question? Is this fellow the master of your sacred pill hall? Hey, don't look like your dad just died. Can't you speak? Asked Mo Nian as he repeatedly dodged. That tone was like he was chatting with a friend. Fuck off. Yin Cheng Sheng cursed. He had never cursed someone so much in this lifetime. He had always thought that cursing was a display of weakness the meaningless howls of the weak. But today, he found that cursing Mo Nian was the only way to cause any harm to him. Wow, your mouth is quite dirty. Did your parents feed you crap growing up? scolded Mo Nian. If you have guts, fight me directly, howled Yin Cheng Sheng. Fool, you will never know how badass your grandpa Mo is. Have you not heard? Mo Nian clapped his forehead like he was annoyed. As he dodged, he said, I forgot something very important. Can you pause for a moment? Ladies and gentlemen, young and old, fall back. I'm going to start showing off now. Listen to this, the limitless palace in front of the limitless mountain, the limitless trees before the limitless gate, the dreams of heavenly geniuses vanish without a trace as soon as they encounter Mo Nian. Go fuck yourself! Yin Cheng Sheng was purple with rage. Mo Nian was constantly dodging his attacks with an elusive grace akin to wisps of smoke, and none of his attacks had any effect whatsoever. Mo Nian was treating him like a monkey to be toyed with while chanting such a thing for everyone. For Yin Cheng Sheng, this act was even more enraging than when Mo Nian smacked him in the face with his shovel. Yin Cheng Sheng curse all the way to Mo Nian's eighteen-generation ancestors, 
leaving countless people on the battlefield dumbfounded. They had seen plenty of random lowlifes shouting curses on the streets, but they had never seen such a heavenly genius cursing like them. The sound of a spear booming through space and raging curses mixed, covering all of heaven and earth. Yin Cheng Sheng cursed with every attack, and he seemed to have gotten used to it. Now, his attacks grew fiercer, his curses sharper. In the distance, heavenly geniuses wearing the robes of the sacred pill hall were dumbfounded. Yin Cheng Sheng was a godlike existence in their hearts, but he actually knew how to curse like this. They stared at him oddly, filled with disbelief. They had yet to receive any orders from Yin Cheng Sheng, so they didn't dare to make any brash moves, simply hiding in the distance. Not far from them were countless experts from the devil race, blood race, demonic beast race, giant race, underworld race, and others. This place had drawn countless people from various races. But most of them were only watching from a distance, not going into the core of the battlefield. The core of the battlefield was filled with experts as well, but they were random cultivators or people from weaker groups akin to a bunch of rabble. The truly powerful races and groups were only watching right now. As Mo Nian fought Yin Cheng Sheng, Meng Kai, Bai Shishi, the Pill Fairy, Bai Xiao, and Guo Ran had started fighting the underworld Ai Giant, Wang Tianyao, and the mysterious Beast Cultivator. They worked together to keep these three back. Yu Zifen and the Nine Underworld Yuacha were still evenly matched, both of them unleashing waves of sword Kai that tore through heaven and earth. No one dared to get close to their battlefield. As for the Dragon Blood Legion, countless people were assaulting them with no regard for their own lives. From time immemorial until now, treasures were always capable of driving people mad and crazy people were the most frightening existence because they were unafraid of death. Now, the lunatics simply wanted to tear an opening in the Dragon Blood Legion's blockade and charge through. They all thought that they would be the ones to tear through and obtain the Dragon Scale. However, they didn't realize that as soon as one of them made an opening in the Dragon Blood Legion's defenses, countless spectators would flood over them. They would be drowned by those powerful experts and wouldn't have any chance. Alas, once a person was driven to this level of madness, they wouldn't have this level of rationality. The only thing that they were thinking about was the treasure. Everything else was unimportant. More and more experts arrived on the scene, each exuding a progressively more intimidating aura. They were all monsters, existences that led their own races. Just like the others, they didn't directly join the battlefield, but simply watched, making sure to keep an eye on the situation. They occupied favorable positions and waited for their chance. Not good. More and more people are coming. There's nowhere to hide, nowhere to run, cried out by Zyol as he watched the sea of people grow. Useless Brett, why hide, why run? If you're so afraid, why even come out? Cursed the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox. It was extremely dissatisfied with its contractual partner. But there are too many enemies. We are capable of fighting outnumbered one to a hundred, one to a thousand, but now it's going to be one against a million, quibbled by Zyol. There were truly a frightening number of enemies now. Furthermore, they were growing increasingly powerful, staring at Long Chen like hungry wolves stalking their prey. Bai Ziol had never been in such a terrifying situation, so he was naturally panicking a bit. Fool, no matter how many ants appear, can they bite an elephant to death? Shut your mouth. Stop speaking. You're embarrassing me, shouted the violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox but I am a bit afraid, you. The violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox wanted to slap him, but it endured. Don't worry as long as I'm here. You won't die. Focus on the battle at hand and concentrate your spiritual strength. When the moment comes, I will need your power. All right. 
by Zyol was reinvigorated by this, and he concentrated on working together with the violet pupil nine tail demon fox. Suddenly, four explosive sounds rang out from the east, south, west, and north. As four world shaking auras could be sensed, all the experts shook and looked in those four directions. Divine venerates that have fully merged their supreme blood and supreme bones. When they saw the four figures coming, countless people cried out in shock. Chapter 3910 Old Double Supreme Monsters For a divine venerate to merge their supreme blood and supreme bone was a million times more difficult than it was for an immortal king. But someone had actually succeeded. Furthermore, it was not just one person. Four people succeeded at once. It was like they had discussed things beforehand and agreed to come at the same time from all four directions. Switch to defense, shouted Zaya Chen. Boot. The twenty seven hundred dragon blood warriors coughed up blood at the same time, unable to stop the attacks from these four peerless experts. As a result, their formation instantly collapsed. Those four were old monsters with white hair. In the three thousand worlds, they could be considered living fossils. They had endured for countless years just for this chance. Boot. Zaya Chan went all out to block one of them, only to be blown back by a single attack. He appeared incredibly weak compared to this elder. Apparently, this elder was not at all weaker than Yin Changsheng, the nine underworld Yuacha or Jai Wumi. Meng Kai, Bai Shishi, the Pill Fairy, and the others hastily tried to assist. However, they were too far, had no time, and were dealing with their own powerful opponents. Thus, they turned pale with fright. But just as the four of them reached out for Long Chen, a coffin appeared, opening and swallowing Long Chen inside of it. The four of their attacks then struck the coffin at the same time. Scram! As a cold shout rang out, those four terrifying monsters grunted and tumbled back. Mo Nian, Zaya Chen, cried out in delight. Mo Nian had appeared above Long Chen and used this ancient coffin to protect him. It's a sign of respect to bury people vertically. Mo Nian smiled after protecting Long Chen in his coffin but he quickly felt that he had misspoken. Cough, a misunderstanding. Just then, those four old monsters roared and charged back. They were divine venerates whose supreme blood and supreme bones had merged, so they were unstoppable. Protect boss. The dragonblood warriors roared and gathered once more, preparing to protect Long Chen. But all of a sudden... Mo Nian pointed his bow at one of those old fellows. As he pulled back his bowstring, the mysterious palace in his manifestation twisted, giving some mysterious power to his bow. Limitless cloud piercer. At this moment, Mo Nian's unrestrained brashness was gone. His expression was solemn, and his aura had even grown more dignified. When Mo Nian let go, the arrow instantly crossed through heaven and earth, creating a straight line of pure death. Seeing such a terrifying attack, that old monster blocked with all his power, but his defenses were like paper in front of that arrow. As a result, he was blasted out of existence along with his weapon. A dark residue, akin to a black line, lingered in the world where the arrow had passed. Then, in an instant, it erupted in a cataclysmic explosion, causing the fabric of heaven and earth to collapse. What kind of power is this? Startled cries rang out. They had just seen four double supreme divine venerates appear and dominate the battlefield, and Mo Nian instantly wiped one out. His manifestation contains sacred energy. Although Mo Nian's energy just now was bizarre, it seemed to contain some kind of sacred energy, which could be considered faith energy. At that moment, people understood why Mo Nian wasn't affected by Yin Chang Sheng's faith domain. So he also possessed such a power. I, Mo Nian, am right here. Anyone who wants to die should come right now. 
borrowing the intimidation effect after killing that terrifying old fellow Mo Nyan raised his bow arrogantly, looking down on all the heavenly geniuses present. Die! While Mo Nyan's words scared off the others, he couldn't scare off the furious Yin Chang Sheng. With his spear, he pierced toward Mo Nyan. How many times can you unleash a technique that extracts the power of your manifestation? Ha! shouted Yin Chang Sheng. But this time, Mo Nyan didn't dodge. He swiftly and accurately swung his bow to intercept the tip of Yin Chang Sheng's spear. As a result, his spear bent under the impact, and a spring-like force sent them both flying. After perfectly receiving Yin Chang Sheng's attack, Mo Nian sneered with contempt, I don't know how many in total, but it should be no problem to slaughter eighty idiots like the last one. Keep bragging. If you can unleash such an attack ten times, I'll eat everyone's shit, wagered Yin Chang Sheng. Ah, no wonder your mouth is so smelly. It really was from eating shit. Such a gamble is meaningless. To you, eating shit must be no different than eating a feast, said Mo Nian with a comprehending nod. Dai! Yin Chang exploded with rage. In an instant, the figure behind him trembled, and his spear radiated a scorching blaze of divine light. With his divine might rapidly intensifying, Yin Cheng Shen launched into another fierce attack, channeling all his power into the strike. Seeing this phenomenon, everyone was trembling. This was the same move that Mo Nian had just used to kill that double supreme divine venerate. So, Yin Cheng Sheng was also capable of unleashing such a move. Just as everyone thought that a heaven-shaking exchange would occur between the two of them, Mo and Yin's figure swayed, and he barely dodged in time. Going through Mo Nian, Yin Cheng Sheng's spear blasted the void apart, as if the very world was torn through by it. Unfortunately, its power was shocking, but it didn't strike its target. Yu. Yin Cheng Sheng almost spat out blood. He had never expected that even after extracting the power of his manifestation, he would be unable to lock down Mo Nian. Just as he was thinking of finally determining who was stronger, he ended up wasting all this energy. Aya, is your vision that bad? You missed even at this close range. Mo Nian laughed after dodging, adding salt to the wound. Let's see how you dodge now. Yin Tengsheng suddenly turned his attention to Long Chen and the coffin he was in, charging toward it. So you want to play this game? So naive. Why don't you try and hit it? Mo Nian looked at him derisively, having an arrow on his bow pointed at Yin Chang Sheng. The power of his manifestation then flowed into his bow. At that moment, Yin Chang Sheng's hair stood on end. He was already locked down. If he tried to attack the coffin, Mo Nian's arrow would definitely strike him. Naturally, Yin Chang Sheng wouldn't throw away his life just to attack this coffin. First of all, it was unknown if he could break this coffin in one attack. And even if he could kill Long Chen, this attack from Mo Nian would take his life. Shameless bastard. Feeling like he was going insane, Yin Cheng Sheng stamped on the air and shot back at Mo Nian. Then, just as he predicted, as soon as he switched his target, Mo Nian put away his bow and continued dodging, refusing to fight him directly. Yin Chang Sheng cursed him furiously. After that, he shouted at those three old fellows to keep attacking Long Chen's coffin. But they had been subdued by Mo Nian's arrow, not daring to attack again. Yin Chang Sheng howled, You idiots! What are you waiting for? If you just sit there, Long Chen will fully absorb the sacred dragon's scale. Yet, to his dismay, his roar elicited no response, so Yin Chang Sheng gritted his teeth in frustration. Flame Killin attack. Suddenly, a flaming meteorite descended from the heavens, flying straight toward Long Chen's coffin. Within these flames was a mountain sized flame killin. At this moment, its aura was actually even stronger than Yin Chang Sheng's. When the flame killin appeared, Mo Nian's expression changed. 
He had thought that the flame Kilin was in Yin Chang Sheng's spiritual space. Unexpectedly, it came flying out from a completely different direction. From this flame Kilin's powerful aura, Mo Nian knew that it had the ability to break the coffin. Thus, he wanted to stop it, but Yin Chang Sheng was already prepared and had fully sealed all his paths to Long Chen. Meng Kai and the others also tried to stop it, but their opponents unleashed a sudden assault, not giving them that chance. In the critical moment, when the flame Killen was about to reach the coffin, a sudden gust of wind swept through the surrounding area. From the depths of the void, a snow-white claw emerged, extending outward and forcefully striking the flame Killen directly on its head. Boop! The impact caused the earth to explode and astral winds to rage in a furious tempest, leaving behind a trail of holes and scars. At the same time, the snow-white claw exerted an immense force, firmly pinning the flame killin into the ground, rendering it powerless to resist. Following that, an enormous wolf whose entire body was snow-white appeared. When everyone from the Dragonblood Legion saw this magnificent creature, an outpouring of jubilant cheers resounded throughout their ranks, shaking the very heavens. Chapter 3911 Little Snow Annihilates Killin' Little Snow When Meng Kai saw this snow-white wolf with a clump of fiery red fur on its forehead, she cried out emotionally. Little Snow was no longer the old Little Snow. Now its body was larger than a mountain, and it possessed a supreme might. It was a wolf god that stood above all others, possessing an emperor Kai that looked down on the nine heavens. Millions and millions of wind blades flowed around it like ripples, and the laws of the wind element gathered around it, prostrating themselves. At this moment, Little Snow raised its head and roared, letting out a sound filled with ruler Kai as well as many emotions. Little Snow! It really is Little Snow! All the dragonblood warriors instantly thought of Little Snow when they saw its snow-white body. However, that Supreme Emperor Kai made them doubt this thought. They couldn't be sure. Yet, Little Snow's responding cry confirmed it for them. This giant terrifying snow wolf was Little Snow. Little Snow was back. Little Snow's claw was still pressing down on the flame Killin who was howling furiously, flames gushing out of its body. Although the earth was being ravaged by its struggle, it was unable to escape. However, Little Snow was ignoring that flame killin' and instead just fixed its gaze on the coffin, a sense of warmth radiating from its eyes. Moon Howling Heavenly Wolf This is your boss's companion. The violet pupil nine-tailed demon fox looked at Little Snow and its pupils shrank in shock. I don't know. Baizayol shook his head unaware of Little Snow's existence. Boom! Suddenly, the earth quivered and Little Snow's giant body slowly rose. The flame killin' was growing bigger. It's igniting its core runes, exclaimed Meng Kai as a warning to Little Snow. She knew that the flame killin' was powerless to resist while it was being suppressed like this, so it actually ignited its core runes just to escape. Only then did Little Snow shift its attention away from Long Chen. Upon looking down on the expanding flame killin' beneath its foot, the warmth in Little Snow's eyes instantly vanished, replaced with Aishi killing intent instead. Little Snow suddenly bit down on the flame killin's head. The flame killin' let out a thunderous roar, fiercely resisting with all its strength. Berserk flames then erupted from its body unleashing a scorching inferno that caused even heaven and earth to melt under its terrifying heat. However, Little Snow seemed immune to its flame energy. These flames weren't even able to scorch its white fur. Suddenly, a blood-colored moon materialized behind Little Snow. When this moon appeared, the world thrummed with a murderous aura. After that, the wind element energy around Little Snow grew active, sending astral winds raging. As a giant whirlpool appeared in Little Snow's mouth, all the world's wind energy was sucked into it, and the flame killin's terrifying power was gradually compressed. 
As a result, its body stopped inflating and began to shrink. The flame kiln suddenly roared in terror as it found that it couldn't move. All its flame energy was sealed by some mysterious force. After that, little Snow's body shook. The wind energy inside of its mouth shot along with the flame kiln. People only saw a sphere of flame and wind energy shoot out into the distance. Not good. Startled cries rang out. This sphere was headed directly to where the sacred pill hall's experts were gathered, so they fled for their lives. Boom! That giant wind and flame sphere exploded just like that. The sphere, with the flame killing at its core, was like a bomb. Terrifying flames borrowed the power of the wind to spread far and wide. As an enormous space was devoured by the flames, the sacred pill hall's experts didn't even get a chance to make a grunt. The impact simply blasted them away, not even leaving their bones behind. Seeing so many of the sacred pill hall's experts killed in that one attack, everyone's eyes almost popped out of their sockets. Rather than saying that these people were killed by little snow, it would be more accurate to say that they had died to the flame killin's self-detonation. Little Snow had controlled the flame killin, using its wind energy as the detonator to turn it into a bomb. As a result, this attack killed the flame killin along with countless disciples of the sacred pill hall. It could be said to be the most terrifying attack to occur ever since the battle started. Flames still burned, scorching heaven and earth, and countless experts were slain. This scene left people stunned. They then looked at little snow and saw a blood moon hanging high in the air. Beneath it was a snow wolf looking arrogantly down on all life. That scene was unforgettable. Good, very good. Ah! Unexpectedly, though, after the flame killin' was slain, Yin Cheng Sheng actually laughed as if he was excited. That laugh made others think that he had officially gone insane. However, only Mo Nian grew even more vigilant. After the flame Killin was slain, Yin Cheng Sheng's aura actually changed, growing even more dangerous. Yin Cheng Sheng's aura began to climb as though endless power was being injected into his body. The power of his domain grew, its range widening, and the figure behind him also grew more solid. He, Xia Chen, and the others stare at Yin Cheng Sheng in shock. I really have to thank you. You must not know, my family has a secret agreement with the flame killin' race. When I was born, I was forced into a spiritual contract with this flame killin'. I had endless talent, but this dumb beast kept slowing me down. Although most of my energy was sucked away by it, in all these years, this idiot never awakened the killin's divine abilities. Hee <laughs> now that you've killed it, all of the power that it absorbed is coming back to me. I no longer need such a useless companion. Ha ha ha. Yin Chang Sheng's laughter echoed, resonating with the rumbling of his manifestation and domain. As his aura swelled without bounds, transcending any limits, cracks began to appear in the void. Now let's see if you can run again. Yin Chang Sheng smiled sinisterly and attacked Mo Nian with his spear. Chapter 3912 Life Sacrifice Yin Cheng Sheng's spear whistled through the air, hurtling toward Mo Nian with the ferocity of an enraged lion. Flames were dancing and flickering around its blade in that critical moment. Mo Nian felt as though the very space around him had transformed into impenetrable iron walls, holding him captive. A powerful faith energy had locked him down, leaving him unable to dodge or escape. Boo! Mo Nian's bow quivered as he used it to block Yin Chang Sheng's attack, but he was blown back and coughed up blood. Mo Nian then stabilized himself and wiped away the blood from his lips. His gaze sharpened as he said, So that's the case. Your companion spirit beast was just a pawn for you. Now that it's dead, you've taken back your power along with some interest. You've even gained the flame killin's core energy. With both your energy and its energy together, you can now truly control your faith energy. 
Yin Chang Sheng's faith energy came from outside of himself. As he wasn't the faith god, he was only borrowing this power. After all, considering how much weaker Yin Chang Sheng was than his god, even with all the faith energy at his disposal, he knew that he wouldn't be able to fully control it. While he could easily overwhelm ordinary experts with his faith energy, when it came to facing someone like Mo Nian, his lack of control rendered his faith energy almost ineffective. But now that the flame killin was dead, Yin Cheng Sheng's power soared. Finally, he could control his faith energy, and this attack left Mo Nian with a significant injury. You are right, my faith energy is my master's. However, now that I have merged the kill in flame and my faith flame together, I can finally control more faith energy. Understand that all that awaits you now is death. After blowing Mo Nian away, Yin Cheng Sheng didn't chase after him. Instead, he turned to Little Snow. Brute, you killed my flame killin'. Killing you will be my vengeance for it. To answer him, Little Snow opened its mouth and spat out a crescent-shaped wind blade. It was rapidly absorbing the world's wind energy to grow, akin to a heavenly blade slicing through the air. Boot! Yin Cheng Sheng's spear quivered as it shattered the wind blade. When the wind energy exploded, its ripples struck the world like the tide. HMPH, you could kill my flame kill and do to the attributes of wind and fire. It was too careless. But your wind element divine abilities have no effect on me, sneered Yin Cheng Sheng. Just as he said, the mountain fire only grew more intense when a powerful gust stoked it. But if the wind was concentrated, it could blow out the fire. Thus, the relationship between wind and fire was quite miraculous. Flame energy could be extinguished or blown out according to the will of wind energy. Thus, flame cultivators often didn't like fighting wind element experts. However, Yin Cheng Shen was not a pure flame cultivator as his flame energy contained faith energy. As a result, normal wind energy was unable to shake him. Unfortunately for him, he had barely spoken when his expression changed. A dozen wind blades were slicing through the air at him. The moment he blocked the first wind blade, Little Snow already spat out a dozen more. Yin Chang Sheng hastily swung his spear to block them, but he was shocked to find that these wind blades were growing stronger and stronger. Heaven and earth gradually became filled with whistling astral winds. A self-created domain! Yin Chang Sheng's expression changed once more. As little snow spat out more wind blades, the flame energy in the world grew increasingly powerful. The wind rose, disturbing the void. All the world's wind energy was slowly affected by little snow. After being set in motion, there was no stopping the current. As little snow continued to unleash wind blades, it was like stoking the fire. The flames grew increasingly intense as the astral winds formed a giant maelstrom around little snow. Yin Cheng Sheng had shattered over ten wind blades when a wind blade suddenly cut across his cheek, leaving a large cut on his face. Even his protective divine light was unable to block it. Yin Cheng Sheng finally shuddered as he looked at the maelstrom around him. The next moment, he roared and stabbed his spear through this twisted space. Boom. After shattering some wind blades, the spear passed through the maelstrom and continued toward Little Snow. Yin Cheng Sheng was finally afraid after he saw how terrifying this move was. Little Snow's maelstrom had yet to fully form, but already possessed such terrifying power. If it fully formed, there was no way to imagine just how powerful it would be. Hence, without hesitation, Yin Cheng Sheng unleashed the power of his manifestation in a full power blow to interrupt it. Oh! To everyone's surprise, it was Mo Nian's arrow that intercepted Yin Cheng Sheng's attack. A rare serious expression could be seen on his face. Little Snow, guard Long Chen. Leave this fellow to me. Little Snow was planning on fighting Yin Cheng Sheng 
but seeing Mon Nayan come, it rushed to Long Chen's side. After all, countless experts were now assaulting the Dragonblood Legion, and Long Chen's safety was the most important thing. At this time, Meng Kai, the Pill Fairy, Bai Shishi, Bai Zayol, and the others had pulled back their defensive line. Rather than fighting for themselves, they had to focus on an absolute defense around Long Chen. Right now, an extremely brilliant golden light was coming out of Long Chen that even Mo Nian's coffin became see through. They could see that Long Chen was absorbing the third true dragon rune. When Long Chen started absorbing the third rune, the remaining five slowly dissipated. People guessed that Long Chen had felt that he didn't have enough time, and so he had chosen to absorb the three most important runes, abandoning the other ones. By incinerating them, they aided his absorption rate. Based on his previous speed, he shouldn't have even finished absorbing the second rune by now. Yet, to everyone's astonishment, he was already on the third one. Once this rune was absorbed, Long Chen would probably come out. It wasn't just Meng Kai and the others who took notice. Countless experts also noticed this, and a sense of urgency gripped them, making their attacks become even more frantic. At this moment, Little Snow returned to the defensive line and began unleashing Wind Blade after Wind Blade. As countless experts were slashed apart by those giant wind blades, their blood filled the ground and air. Its killing power was astonishing. Boom! Suddenly, in the distance, a giant explosion occurred and another giant figure came tumbling out. When Ming Kai saw that figure, her expression completely changed. Cloud? It was Cloud who was sent flying backward, her body bearing the weight of a grievous wound on her chest. It was vaguely possible to see the beating of her heart through it. Everyone watch out. Shi Yang has changed, warned Cloud. Within the shrouds of ominous black Kai, Shi Yang's sinister figure materialized, leaving onlookers in awe. What astonished them even more was the fact that his aura had intensified several times over, surpassing his previous strength. The golden horn atop his head gleamed radiantly, resembling a resplendent sun. He seemed to have transformed into a different being. He killed countless experts of the devil race as a life sacrifice to him, shouted Cloud. Ha ha ha, all of you can die now. I'm no longer holding back. Shi Yang laughed and unleashed a single claw. In that instant... A giant claw image covered everyone, and a sensation of death crashed down on all of them. Chapter 3913 Chi Yang's Terrifying Trump Card Full Defense Xia Chen's expression changed. Chi Yang had actually managed to activate the innate divine ability of this immemorial devil corpse. In other words, they were essentially fighting a supreme existence that came from the immemorial era. Earth Wall. Lai Kai and Song Minjuan's malevolent spirits dissipated, replaced by manifestations imbued with the weight of the earth. As these manifestations materialized, the ground trembled and massive walls of earth formed before them. However, even with their full power defense, Shi Yang remained unstoppable as devilish energy surged from his wings, overwhelming their efforts and destroying the earthen walls. Dragon blood crossed slash. Golden lotus manifests. Heavenly rainbow slash. Everyone went all out against the current Shi Yang. Ants trying to stop a cart. You don't even know just how weak you are. Shi Yang laughed arrogantly. Those attacks struck Shi Yang's body, causing huge explosive sounds to occur. But black runes flowed on top of Shi Yang's body completely blocking those attacks. They didn't harm him in the slightest. The blood soul power of three million devil experts was required to activate a portion of this immemorial devil corpse's runes. Although it's only the most superficial of the runes, this corpse is an unknown existence above divine venerates, not something that ants like you can resist. Thus, now I possess a completely impervious body. 
Shi Yang directly received all their attacks and then shot toward Long Chen. Moon. The Dragonblood Warriors' formation was forcibly torn open, and the Dragonblood Warriors were blown back. There was no stopping the current Shi Yang, who was in control of an immemorial devil corpse. But all of a sudden, a sword slashed through the air at Shi Yang's neck, forcing him to raise his wings to block it. His expression finally changed. The sword slashed onto his wings, leaving a bloody wound but not cutting through them. It was Yu Zifeng. He had abandoned his fight with the nine underworld Yuacha to come help. However, the current Shi Yang had protective runes moving around him, so his sword was unable to cause a substantial injury. You dare to ignore me? The nine underworld Yuacha's furious roar rang out. But just as she shot over, she saw Long Chen in the coffin and changed directions to him. However, in an instant, her expression completely changed. Her momentum came to a sudden stop, and she shot back. But it was too late. A dagger had cut across her throat, leaving a bloody wound. The nine underworld Yuacha felt some goosebumps. If she had been the slightest bit slower in retreating, her head would have left her body. At this moment, Dong Minju's figure appeared. She shot after the nine underworld Yuacha, unleashing a barrage of attacks that repeatedly forced the latter back. Dong Minju's figure then vanished again, alarming the nine underworld Yuacha. She had no idea where she disappeared to. After that, an explosive sound rang out in the distance as two daggers clashed, forcing a wretched figure out of the void. This wretched figure was precisely the Bloodkill Hall's number one genius, Jai Wuming. He was now covered in blood with over ten bloody holes in his body, looking like a mess. He was then forced toward the Nine Underworld Luacha. The two of you can come at me together. Dong Minju was like a black leopard of the night, beautiful and dangerous. Even one against two, her gaze was still sharp and apathetic not seeming to be pressured at all. Arrogant girl! Just how prideful was the nine underworld Luacha? First, she was blocked by Yu Zifeng, and now it was a little girl. Furthermore, this girl wanted her to work together with Jai Wuming against her. It was an unforgivable insult, the greatest affront to her dignity. Don't be impetuous. Her movement art is strange and specialized against us shouted Jai Wuming. In his fight with Dong Minjiu, he came to understand just how terrifying the Shadow Sect's inheritance was. It was a perfect counter against him. In front of Dong Minjiu, he was unable to properly release his power. If he hadn't kept his calm and fought carefully the entire time, he'd have been killed already. When fighting Dong Minjiu, the worst thing you could do was to get angry. A terrifying assassin like Dong Minju would instantly grasp that opportunity to kill you. Shut up. You're the impetuous one. Your whole family is impetuous. I don't need anyone's pointers, especially not yours. Loser cursed the nine underworld Yuacha disdainfully. Idiot girl. His kind warning was countered with curses, making Jai Wuming furious. He then looked at Long Chen and the overall battlefield. After that, he decided to work together with the Nine Underworld Yuacha to go against Dong Minjiu. Dong Minjiu was swift like lightning yet also graceful like a flitting hummingbird. She attacked and retreated at will, and even one against two, she was not at a disadvantage at all. While Dong Minjiu was fighting one against two, Forcing the nine underworld Li Yuacha and Jai Wuming back, the Dragon Blood Legion was in peril. Even with all of them joining forces, Shi Yang was too powerful. Having sacrificed the lives of his people to activate the runes on his devil corpse, he could now activate the devil corpse's divine protective light. With it being active, Yu Zifeng's sword Kai was unable to cause any fatal injuries to his body. As for other people's attacks, they were unable to even leave a mark on his body. Just like that, 
Shi Yang could just take everyone's attacks and get closer and closer to Long Chen. Most vexing of all was that the other experts that had been intimidated away now sensed their chance and charged forward. As a result, now the Dragon Blood Legion didn't just need to deal with Shi Yang, but also Wang Tianiao, the underworld eye giant, and that strange beast cultivator. The three of them had been waiting for their chance. Once one of them got close to Long Chen, they would definitely launch a killing blow. The greatest threat right now was Shi Yang. He had an unfathomable sinister smile on his face, which made the Dragon Blood Legion feel like the real danger wasn't just what they were seeing. Suddenly, in the distance, the heavens exploded and a giant army appeared, all of them overflowing with Devil Kai. Those were the Devil Race's experts. Their gazes were empty, as if their souls were under control. Do you think this is all I have? This is just the start. Using my corpse devil Dao's secret art, I have sacrificed the spectators. And now, my devil Kai has infected the entire three thousand worlds. All the devil races experts in the immortal king realm and above have been summoned by me. Once I sacrifice their lives, I will fully awaken this immemorial devil corpse. They just sat back the entire time on the sidelines, and that's because they lack confidence. But I don't. Once this immemorial corpse devil is awakened, the three thousand worlds will be mine. This entire world will submit to me. Shi Yang lifted his head and let out a peal of sinister laughter, his hands swiftly forming hand seals. The next moment, those millions and millions of devil experts that were rushing over suddenly detonated, filling the sky with endless essence blood. Corpse devil sacrifice. Shi Yang let out a roar and then charged into the sea of blood. As the runes on his body shone brightly, an ancient and ominous aura rose out of him, so powerful that it caused despair. Original devil seal soul purification. Suddenly, a ray of divine light descended from the heavens, akin to the sun illuminating the sea of blood. Chapter 3914 Kuntu Zyogian Meng Kai cried out in delight when she saw that distant figure. It was Yu Zyogian. She had finally come to save them at this critical moment. Her devil-suppressing seal was shining brightly, its holy light causing the blood sea to boil and the essence blood runes to be erased. You're ruining things for me again. Just die. Shi Yang howled furiously. Yu Ziopian's devil, suppressing seal, was greatly weakening the energy of his life sacrifice. With this, he wouldn't be able to fully activate this devil corpse. Shi Yang then waved his hand, and a blood spear shot out of the blood sea. Block his attacks. Buy time for Ziopian. Meng Kai was the first to charge out her golden bell appearing before her. Even Shi Yang didn't quite dare to fight this golden bell directly because it was a soul item, and every clash against it would hurt his soul. If he didn't treat it cautiously, perhaps his soul would be ripped out of this devil corpse. But as long as he avoided it, Meng Kai's attacks were unable to damage him. Just as Shi Yang dodged Meng Kai's attack, Yu Zifeng's sword descended toward him. Realizing the threat posed by Yu Zifeng's relentless strikes, Shi Yang instinctively wrapped his tattered bat wings around himself for protection. Despite the wings bearing numerous scars, Yu Zifeng's strikes failed to sever them, leaving Shi Yang without any fatal wounds. At this moment, everyone's attacks fell on Shi Yang, stopping him from attacking Yu Zyokin. As a result, the blood sea was rapidly vanishing. Not good. In the distance, Xia Chen cried out. When everyone went to block Qi Yang, the underworld eye giant took this chance to charge forward. As the Dragon Blood Legion was busy blocking powerful enemies on all sides, the underworld eye giant managed to tear open a hole in their formation with a punch. The breach caused by that single hole shattered their defensive formation. With this opportunity, the underworld eye giant surged forward, 
breaking through their lines. Wang Tianyao, the beast cultivator, and numerous other concealed experts also unleashed a frenzied charge, joining the chaos without hesitation. Stop them! Kin Fen let out a roar. Long Chen had yet to awaken, so he was going to use his own body to stop them. Whether it was Kin Fen, Kai Yu, or the rest of the dragon blood warriors, they all charged in front of Long Chen without waiting for Xia Chen's orders. Don't needlessly sacrifice your lives. As long as I, Mo Nian, am present, no one can harm Long Chen. Mo Nian, who was dealing with Yin Chang Sheng, suddenly appeared on top of the coffin. He put away his bow and sat down on the coffin, forming hand seals. In response, the coffin emitted a radiant wave of light, giving rise to a great barrier that enveloped it. Countless attacks from various experts bombarded the barrier, yet it held steadfast, impervious to their onslaught. Their attempts to break through proved futile, as they were unable to breach its formidable defense. HMPH, this is an absolute defense. Even if I gave you ten years, you wouldn't be able to break it, sneered Mo Nian arrogantly. However, inside, he was cursing anxiously. Long Chen, can you hurry up? I can't hold on much longer. Just then, a flame spear stabbed the barrier, causing it to shudder and be filled with cracks. Yin Cheng Shane naturally wouldn't let Mo Nian do as he pleased. Undeterred, Mo Nian simply changed his hand's seals, and the cracks instantly vanished as if they had never appeared in the first place. TCH, that's all you have, mocked Mo Nian while he cursed more inside. Suddenly, the skies grew dim and the earth plunged into darkness. An immense figure appeared, surpassing even Cloud in her cloud-chasing heaven-swallowing sparrow form. It was a figure that was essentially as large as an entire world. Its pair of golden wings then crashed down from the heavens, emitting the terrifying pressure that made this world about to explode, shaking everyone's soul with its apocalyptic aura. A con pen? Mo Nian's expression changed as he recognized the origins of this enormous figure. This indomitable will that defied the constraints of heaven and earth, yearning to transcend their limitations, could only belong to a Kun Pen. Long Chen, get the hell out here! Kun Tu's voice shook the world, akin to the furious roar of a heavenly deity, resounding throughout every corner of the three thousand worlds. Ooh. Kun Tu's heaven-shrouding wings fell upon the barrier. It was so enormous that the barrier appeared minuscule in front of it. When his wings struck the barrier, the impact tore the earth asunder, causing the heavenly dows to collapse and fragments of space-time to fly about. All of heaven and earth were almost destroyed by this one attack. Countless experts had charged forward upon seeing an opportunity. But when those wings fell, they were directly turned to dust. Other than double supremes, everyone else was wiped out. As for Mo Nian, he spat out blood as he received a backlash. His barrier was covered in cracks, almost shattered by this attack. Fuck, if it weren't for Long Chen, I'd show you who is boss right now, raged Mo Nian. Defending passively like this put Mo Nian at a great disadvantage. Furthermore, Kantu's power was immense and concentrated, making it impossible for Mo Nian to simply guide the force around him. He could only receive it directly. Kantu's arrival had completely changed the battlefield. Countless experts could only stare at his enormous figure in horror. In front of Kantu, even double supremes were quivering and completely subdued by his aura to the extent that they didn't even dare to breathe hard. When the Kunpeng arrived, the world submitted. The Kunpeng's unrestrained aura was something that even the heavenly Daos couldn't resist, so every other life form felt suppressed by his aura. This kind of suppression had nothing to do with the realm, bloodline, or soul. It was purely a matter of will. Any other life forms could only lower their heads in front of the Kunpeng. It didn't break. Then try another attack, 
Kuntu snorted, his claws ignited with power as he extended them downward. Brothers, don't just watch, help me out, shouted Mon Nayan. Only then did everyone else react. All the dragon blood warriors, along with Mang Kai, the Pill Fairy, Bai Shishi, Bai Ziol, and the others gathered behind Mon Nayan. With the help of some hand seals, their blood Kai and spiritual strength entered his body. Boom. Kun Tu's second attack landed with even greater force than the last. As a result, Mo Nian and the others quivered under the impact, yet their collective strength shielded them from harm as the force diffused among them. They won't hold out for long. Attack together, shouted Yin Cheng Shen. Mo Nian's barrier was truly tough, and a single person couldn't break it no matter what. After all, Long Chen had reached a critical point, and they couldn't let him fully absorb that dragon scale. If everyone attacked together, Mo Nian and the others wouldn't be able to last much longer. It wasn't just Yin Chang Sheng who saw this. The others also noticed and swiftly unleashed their attacks. With tens of thousands of double supremes attacking at the same time, the barrier was quickly covered in cracks. Chapter 3000 915 one shot underworld i giant this isn't a solution we're going to run out of energy soon at this rate shouted by Zyol. don't worry as long as boss smoothly absorbs the dragon scale everything will be settled just hold on said guo ran confidently however there were too many attacks coming from the outside the power of these attacks was being transmitted through the barrier and dispersed through their bodies. As for their own energy, it was being rapidly depleted. In just a few breaths' time, over half of their energy was used up. At this rate, they wouldn't be able to last for more than three waves of attacks. Then the barrier would shatter, and they would be out of energy, like sheep waiting to be slaughtered. However, they were already trapped, so they could only place their hopes on Long Chen. Scram! Long Chen's life belongs to me, Long Ayashin. Suddenly, a heaven-shaking roar rang out. Following that, the figure of the sun and moon lit up, and a five-colored flag whistled over. The sun-moon five-element flag. It's Long Ayashin. Mo Nian and the others cursed inside. At this critical moment, Long Ayashin had also come. Both the Sun Moon Five Element flag slashed down, instantly piercing the barrier, making all of them cough up a mouthful of blood. The Sun Moon Five Element flag was a peak divine weapon containing the powers of metal, wood, water, fire, earth, light, and dark. When these seven powers were combined, they instantly pierced through the barrier created by Mo Nian's coffin. As the barrier was destroyed, countless experts flooded in. In their eyes, Long Chen had become a piece of rich meat that they had to get a bite of. In response, Little Snow unleashed a sphere of exploding wind blades, killing countless experts. Even double supremes were unable to block this attack. However, after unleashing this attack, Little Snow's aura plummeted. Due to working together with everyone to defend the barrier, it had exhausted its energy. This final blow was everything it had left. Mo Nian also moved to block Long Ayashin, only to be sent flying by the Sun Moon Five Element flag. In order to protect Long Chen, Mo Nian had used up the most energy. As a result, he could no longer receive a single attack from Long Ayashin. Beside him, Meng Kai was blocking the underworld I giant's attack. But as she had used up too much spiritual strength, she was blasted out of the battlefield along with her bell. Chaos ensued as an overwhelming tide of experts surged from all directions, overwhelming by Shishi, the Pill Fairy, Yu Zifeng, and the others. Watch out! Meng Kai shouted a warning at Bai Shishi. Her golden bell then left her, shooting out to guard Bai Shishi's back. Boom! It then blocked the sneak attack from the beast cultivator, saving Bai Shishi. 
Big sister, are you all right? By Shishi was in the midst of fighting the underworld, I giant, and had it noticed the beast cultivator approaching her from behind. Without Meng Kai's aid, she would definitely be seriously injured or dead. So when she saw blood dripping out of the corner of Meng Kai's mouth in her weakened gaze, she felt guilty and aggrieved. It's fine as long as you're all right. Meng Kai forced out a smile. She was already out of spiritual strength, so that blow had damaged her soul. It was painful, but she could still endure. Big sister. By she she felt even guiltier. Good sister, since we're sisters, we'll be sisters for life. Mankai seemed to see through Bai Shishi's thoughts and smiled. Bai Shishi nodded. Despite how prideful she was, after seeing Mankai, she was won over by that fairy-like aura of hers. In this world, Mankai was the only woman who could make her submit. Xiopian. Mankai suddenly turned in a certain direction and cried out. Yu Ziokian hadn't gone to the barrier because she was the only one suppressing Shi Yang. However, there was also no one guarding her, so when Shi Yang launched an attack against her, she couldn't evade the blow causing her to cough up blood. After that, the devil's sacrifice technique that she had been suppressing broke free of her seal, making Shi Yang's aura grow explosively. Long Chen, you trash, it's time for you to die. The Sun Moon Five Element flag pierced through the air at Long Chen, but at that moment a rainbow radiance descended upon the world. The Pill Fairy clasped her hands together, rainbow flames burning on her forehead. For the price of burning her own life force, she summoned a shield for Long Chen. Kingshuan, don't. Upon seeing Yu Kingshuan summon a shield with her very life, Meng Kai's expression changed. She charged toward her recklessly. The scene made her think of the final battle of the Martial Heaven Continent. It was just so similar. Was Yu Qingchuan going to experience another reincarnation? As Meng Kai's voice pierced the air, it wasn't just her who reacted with alarm. Yu Ziokian, Dong Minju, Yu Ran, Zia Chen, and Yu Zifeng all cried out and rushed over. They did not want that scene to replay. However, they were a step too slow. They could only watch as Yu Qingxuan was once more dying. Bang! Just as the Sun Moon Five Element Flag was about to strike the Pill Fairy, a hand covered in golden scales caught it, causing the Berserk Sun Moon Five Element Flag to grow still, its endless power vanishing. Why must you be so foolish? That attack could have taken your life. A gentle voice rang out beside the Pill Fairy's ear. Looking in delight, the first thing she saw was a warm pair of eyes. After that, tears slowly flowed down her cheeks. I don't know either, but I can't watch you die. I would rather die in front of you. The pill fairy now felt waves of fear coming over her. She was an alchemist, not a true flame cultivator, so her true strength lay in alchemy and not fighting. She had also known that this action of hers would cause her death, but she had been willing to do so. She didn't want Long Chen to die. Long Chen reached out and gently wiped away her tears, softly saying, You've already sacrificed yourself a thousand times for me. From now on, it's my turn to block the wind and rain for you. With me present, no one can hurt you. Just trust me. Looking at Long Chen's sincere and loving face, the pill fairy nodded. She seemed to have forgotten the surrounding battlefield, forgotten the endless fierce beasts attacking them. As long as Long Chen was present, she didn't need to be afraid. Die! After the Sun Moon Five Element flag was caught by Long Chen, Long Yashin pulled it with all his might but was unable to even shake Long Chen's hand. After three futile attempts, he furiously summoned his manifestation. By summoning his manifestation, his power soared, but his hand suddenly shook. He could no longer keep a hold of the Sun Moon Five Element Flag as it was taken by Long Chen. Long Chen then flung the Sun Moon Five Element Flag away, which transformed into a streak of light shooting in a certain direction. In an instant, 
it pierced a giant figure rushing over causing a rain of blood to fall that huge figure then collapsed its soul extinguished but it, to their surprise this giant figure was actually the terrifying underworld eye giant he was actually slain in one blow from long chen chapter three thousand nine hundred sixteen true power after forcibly snatching long ayashin's sun moon five element flag long chen killed the underworld eye giant with it it had to be known that the underworld eye giant was a terrifying expert with unrivaled power his body was incredibly strong and he also possessed the underworld race's divine abilities meng kai bai shishi and the others had tried to kill him multiple times but to no avail yet long chen in a seemingly effortless manner killed him the moment he emerged leaving everyone in awe of his battle prowess witnessing this astonishing turn of events long ayashin was alarmed causing him to instinctively retreat he swiftly flew toward the sun moon five element flag and tightly grasped it vigorously shaking off the blood that stained its surface however he didn't dare to attack again with one attack long chen shook the entire battlefield causing the dragon blood warriors to cheer on the other hand meng kai dong minjiu and cloud wept after finally seeing his unrivaled form once again long chen was still the old long chen he had never changed a bit only mo nian complained you're busy flirting even after i suffered so much just to protect you to think that a peerless hero almost got killed because of some egg if it weren't for you i'd have long since revealed my divine might and made them piss themselves as they fled i've never suffered such a loss in this lifetime so hurry up and clean up your mess killed because of an egg was that not precisely the case if it weren't for protecting the egg that long chan was in mo nian would have been able to fight freely without any misgivings now that long chen was out and no longer needed protection mo nian was the one out of energy not even able to show off any more thus it was understandable that he was vexed to see long chen flirting with yu kingshuan long chen smiled and gently patted yu kingshuan's shoulder stand to the side and watch leave things here to me a gentle energy sent the pill fairy to meng kai's side long chen then looked at meng kai cloud dong minjiu yu zifink lai kai song minjuin and all the other familiar faces his eyes wetted and he only nodded to them there were no words but this simple action caused a flood of emotions to surge in all of them they understood the next moment long chen suddenly clenched the void causing space to explode and a large muscular figure to be torn out of the void the first thing that entered people's vision was a bright head it was gu yang gu yang thought that it was an enemy attack so he was about to counterattack but when he saw long chen he was overjoyed Wallace, gu yang's body was covered in countless injuries his torn flesh revealing glimpses of bones and his aura growing chaotic he had clearly pushed himself to his limit but shockingly his battle intent was still as strong as ever he seemed like a fearless battle god it was as though if someone wanted to stop him they had to kill him first that overflowing battle intent was shocking good job brother but now that i'm here you don't need to force yourself this hard you can just watch and cheer for your boss long chen patted gu yang's shoulder yes boss gu yang laughed and put away his spear standing together with the dragon blood warriors he was still dripping blood but he didn't mind excellent your luck isn't bad you've merged with the ancestral dragon reverse scale and are finally qualified to fight with me however in the end the ancestral dragon essence blood is not your own power you are nothing more than an inferior human so how much of its power can you possibly control hopefully you don't disappoint me too badly 
After all, I want to use the ancestral dragon essence blood to stimulate the Kunpeng's most primal bloodline. The Kunpeng race and the dragon race have always been synonyms for the world's greatest power, both number one from the era of primal chaos until now. But it's time for the world to know who is the real number one. Kun Tu transformed into a humanoid form and stood in the air, looking down on Long Chen. Both number one. You really are flattering yourself. There was a time when your Kun Peng race submitted to the dragon race as slaves, and it was only through this that you guys had a chance to recover. If you hadn't begged for mercy, the Kun Peng race would have been destroyed. But now, you actually say that you've always been tied for number one. How interesting. Does believing your own lies feel so good? Asked Long Chen. Shut up, shouted Kun Tu, a pair of giant wings appearing behind him. That was his manifestation. As his wings shook, heaven and earth collapsed. His sharp claws then pierced through the void at Long Chen. You dare to think that you are unrivaled after merely absorbing three ancestral dragon runes? Today you shall meet your demise here. Arrogance, hypocriticalness, and ignorance have all been perfectly emulated by you. I only absorbed three ancestral dragon runes, but you are in such a hurry to stop me. You are simply afraid. You didn't even want me to absorb that third rune right. I thought that you wanted to use me as a whetstone, but it seems that you're afraid that this whetstone would be too tough and would destroy you. If you're afraid, you should be respectful. Instead, you act so overwhelmingly arrogant. Are you putting on a performance? What a hypocrite! Long Chen snorted and directly unleashed a punch at Kun Tu. Ah ha well said, very well said. Fuck! The human race really is eloquent. You hit the nail on the head. That's right, infuriate these feathered animals, ha ha ha. The dragon expert's voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Clearly, he was very satisfied with Long Chen's words. The dragon race and the Kunpeng race were old enemies. But once the Kunpeng race submitted to the dragon race, their enmity came to an end. After all, it was a natural law of the heavenly Tao's for both races to fight for number one. There was no right or wrong here. But after the Kunpeng race submitted, they secretly schemed to target the dragon race, even drawing in other races in an attempt to destroy their master. They then covered up that history, wantonly slandering the dragon race. They actually twisted things and said that the dragon race had submitted to them back then. Hearing this, the prideful dragon race could not accept such a betrayal and insult. In their fury, their hatred for the Kunpeng race was carved into their blood and souls, and this enmity was passed down generation after generation. As a result, every time a pure-blooded dragon and Kunpeng met, there would be a battle to the death. But when a fist and a claw met, the resulting impact surged like shooting stars causing light and dark to flip and heaven and earth to switch places. This collision made countless people feel like the world was spinning around them. Gravity seemed to vanish as countless rocks floated into the air, but then they exploded when struck by the ripples. It was like this entire world was collapsing, causing countless experts to be horrified. That was because what Long Chen and Kun Tu were competing with was not the laws of heaven and earth, but pure physical strength. The fist and claw were still linked, with more and more ripples coming out of them. As a result, terrifying apocalyptic power spread further and further away. If someone was struck by that power, not even a speck of them would remain. This was a power that they could not comprehend. So, this is the power of the Kunpeng race. It seems that you know nothing about true power. Long Chen suddenly raised his left hand and slapped Kun Tu in the face in front of countless shocked gazes. Chapter 3917 Dragon Roars at the Nine Heavens 10,000 Spirit Burial This slap landed solidly on Kun Tu's face, smashing his protective golden runes apart. 
Kuntu was then sent flying, smashing into the ground. As a result, a bottomless ditch appeared and continued beyond the horizon. So that's the case. There has to be a rotation during the slap. This twist of the wrist causes the speed and power to rise greatly. Haha, I've learned it. Mo Nian was watching intently. He understood Long Chen far too well and had long since been waiting for this attack, so he saw it clearly. Now, he was sure that he could master this technique. You know nothing about true power. Ah ha that's correct. Keep going. Beat him, beat them all. These feathered animals don't know how high the heavens are, exclaimed the dragon expert excitedly. Its level of excitement was as though it was the one who had just slapped Kun Tu. Furthermore, Long Chen's words were incredibly arrogant, incredibly domineering, but they were to the dragon expert's liking. It seemed that when it came to showing off, the human race had an immense advantage over any other races. Even the dragon expert knew that he was incapable of such a thing. Long Chen, hand over your life. Long Chen had just slapped away Kun Tu when Black Kai filled the sky, and Violent Devil Kai crashed down upon everyone. Chi Yang had finally finished the corpse devil sacrifice after breaking Yu Ziopian's seal. At this moment, countless runes were flowing on top of his body as he exuded an immemorial air. It was as if he was truly a devil god that had walked out of the immemorial era. I have finished the corpse devil sacrifice. It is time to settle all accounts. Shi Yang's wings quivered. With the slightest pressure from his claw, it felt like the world was going to be crushed. His power had transcended everyone's understanding. Settle all accounts. What are you going to use to settle those accounts? This corpse. Even if you've activated the runes, its body has already stiffened. You can't unleash even a tenth of its power. Are you sure that you haven't grown tired of living? Sneered Long Chen. Even if it's just a tenth, it's enough to kill you, responded Shi Yang. He then attacked with his claw confidently. Is that so? Long Chen unleashed a simple punch. Boot. To their surprise, Long Chen wasn't shaken in the slightest, but Shi Yang's body was trembling. Both friend and foe were shocked by this spectacle. Shi Yang had sacrificed countless experts of the devil race for this overwhelming power, but he was unable to shake Long Chen at all. Suddenly, Shi Yang's wings swept through the air like lightning, slashing toward Long Chen's neck with incomparable speed. However, Long Chen ignored this attack. He simply raised his foot and unleashed a stamp at Shi Yang's armpit causing black blood to rain down. Just like that, Shi Yang was sent flying with a miserable shriek. His arm was forcibly ripped out by Long Chen. Everyone, don't hold back. Kill him now, and perhaps we can force out his dragon blood. Once he has fully refined it, there won't be such a chance again, shouted Jai Wuming. Forming hand seals, Imputus figure appeared within his manifestation. This was no divine statue, but Imputa himself. When Imputa appeared, Jai Wuming's faith energy instantly ignited, healing his wounds and returning his listless aura to his peak. The nine underworld Liuacha and Yin Chengsheng also joined the fray after summoning their gods behind them. They had been holding back their strongest trump card this entire time. Now everyone realized that these people were all crafty. Despite looking enraged to the point of losing their minds, they had actually been holding back a bit to compete for Long Chen's dragon blood once he was slain. However, as a result of scheming against each other, they ended up letting Long Chen finish absorbing the dragon blood. If they hadn't been toying around like this, the dragon blood legion would not have been able to hold them back. Then Long Chen wouldn't have had a chance to absorb the dragon scale. Long Chen's power had now exceeded all expectations. If they still thought about holding back, they would definitely be beaten by Long Chen, then let alone obtaining the dragon blood. 
they might not even be able to protect their own lives. While Jai Wuming, Yin Chang Sheng, and the Nine Underworld Yuacha unleashed overwhelming faith energy, Long Eoshin, Kun Tu, and the one armed Shi Yang came flying back as well. As for that crafty beast cultivator, he actually shot toward Meng Kai. With his lead, Wang Tianyao and some other powerful life forms also charged over with him. They all knew that Meng Kai and the others had exhausted their power to protect Long Chen. So, killing them now would be simple and would distract Long Chen. Countless experts were attacking, but some were growing restless in the distance, akin to vultures waiting for their chance to get a bite. Looking at such filth, Long Chen's eyes instantly turned ice cold. This is because you forced me, so don't blame me. Long Chen turned to the vile I nine tail demon fox that Bai Xiao was sitting on. I know that you have your trump cards. Can you protect my friends? Looking at Long Chen, it very clearly spat out two words. Don't worry. Its nine giant tails suddenly rose, each with different runes on it. They were like nine heavenly pillars that covered everyone. The four people understood what was going on. Long Chen raised his arms, and an enormous dragon appeared within his manifestation. The next moment, the sacred might of the dragon radiated, blasting away the clouds. It was possible to see the stars in the sky shaking as if they were going to fall at any moment. Long Chen's manifestation was enormous, but even it was unable to contain this golden dragon. Through the manifestation, people could only see its scales. Not even its dragon claws could be contained. They had never seen such an enormous life form before. It was like the manifestation was merely a window letting them see part of the dragon causing people to fear it even more. Dragon roars at the nine heavens, ten thousand spirit burial. Long Chen's voice shook the stars in the sky. It was as if every star in the sky was echoing his voice, which was akin to the imperial edict of a heavenly god. Not even the heavenly Daos dared to defy him. Following that, Long Chen raised his head and unleashed a brilliant roar that pierced through the heavenly Daos, past the nine heavens. The stars then shook, alternating between going dark and blazing with light. Boom. Following that roar, the ten thousand Daos collapsed and the earth vanished. A ripple of death then spread in every direction. Long Aoshin, Kun Tu, Yin Cheng Sheng, Jai Wu Ming, the nine underworld Yuacha, Xiang, Wing Tianyao, the beast cultivator, and all the others were blown away. As for the others, when this ripple of death struck them, they instantly turned to dust, their souls wiped out of existence. Seeing this scene, the experts in the distance instantly turned and fled for their lives. Regretfully, they weren't fast enough. This death wave covered the entire battlefield. In an instant, this battlefield, that was originally filled with countless experts, emptied. Chapter 3918 Annihilation at the core of the battlefield, the violet I-9 tail demon fox was under immense pressure. Its tails were shining brightly, but the barrier that it summoned was now covered in cracks. Despite this, it still clenched its teeth and persevered. Within its eyes, demonic violet flames burned intensely, casting an eerie glow. But Bai Ziol already fainted because of the roar. It was because the violet I-9 tailed demon fox had used up all of his spiritual strength and the power of his pupils to maintain the barrier. But even with all of that, it barely managed to withstand this roar. Now that the roar had passed, the violet I-9 tailed demon fox's barrier shattered and its aura instantly plummeted, becoming extremely weak. After that, the form of the nine-tailed demon fox began to fade away, unable to sustain its presence in this world any longer. It had exhausted all of its power and had no choice but to return to its original realm. As for Bai Ziol, he was still unconscious, his body limp in the arms of Guo Ran. Right now, 
the concept of heaven and earth seemed to fade away, leaving only a world of uncertainty and stillness. Underneath the endless starry sky, all that met the eye was a gaping hole, as if a piece of the world had been erased. However, above the void, all the experts floated in mid-air, their sense of trepidation lingering, as though the giant maw below them would swallow them whole at any moment. The once orderly heavenly dows were in chaos, and countless shattered heavenly dow runes were floating through the air. Yet, as these shattered fragments floated, a miraculous sight unfolded the laws of the heavenly dow slowly began to mend themselves. The world, marred by scars, gradually embarked on a path of recovery. However, the experts on the battlefield were gone and would never return. All that remained of them were some dying human spirit fluctuations, and once the fluctuations were gone, all traces of them would be erased. A single roar had destroyed the very world, annihilating countless life forms, stunning the survivors. They didn't dare to believe their eyes. Long Chen was still in his roaring posture with his hair billowing around him, akin to a raging battle god of the nine heavens. After that, the giant dragon rolling within his manifestation gradually settled, and everything became calm. Click. Suddenly, Lai Kai and Song Minju informed Han Seals and their malevolent spirits appeared. They then sucked in the broken fragments of Yuan spirits that still hung in the air. Long Chen's devastating attack had decimated numerous experts, leaving behind a trail of incomplete Yuan spirit fragments. As a result, the malevolent spirits found these fragments to be of significantly reduced value. However, considering the amount, these two malevolent spirits would advance to an unimaginable level once they had absorbed all the fragments. But then, these fragments quickly dissipated back into the heavenly dows, making this a race against time. So, before the heavenly dows fully repaired themselves, they had to absorb as much of the fragments as possible. Other than the people on the side of the Dragon Blood Legion, the total of the survivors were just over a hundred, including Long Aoshin, Kun Tu, Shi Yang, Jai Wuming, Yin Cheng Sheng, the Nine Underworld Luacha, Wang Tianiao, and the mysterious beast Cultivator. Those who could withstand the impact of Long Chen's roar were individuals who possessed strength just one level below that of Long Aoshin and his peers. Every single one of them was a formidable expert, armed with their own unique arsenal of skills and abilities. However, their terror grew crazily as they witnessed the devastating aftermath of Long Chen's single roar, which had decimated their entire group. Other than them, there was no one else left alive. The ancestral dragon roars at the Nine Heavens. I didn't expect you to inherit this technique. However, this technique requires the support of a dragon scale, so after using it, you won't be able to use it again for a while. Let me see what other techniques you learned. In front of the incomparably domineering Long Chen, Kun Tu showed no fear, and battle intent flowed out of him instead. As divine light flowed within his golden eyes, he spread his wings. An enormous figure then appeared behind him. Ancestral souls support Kun Peng blood sacrifice. Kun Tu's wings suddenly blazed like the sun, unleashing endless golden light. Those wings were so huge that they seemed to reach the sea of stars. Boom! The heavenly dows, which were in the midst of repairing, were once more thrown into chaos when those wings smashed down. So what if I can't use dragon roars at the nine heavens again? Why would I need such a technique to deal with you? Long Chen sneered and his golden dragon scales lit up. This was the dragon blood battle armor, the same one as ever. However, now there was a layer of sacred light over his scales, holy and noble, like something that could not be blasphemed. Meanwhile, Long Chen's power was now an unknown number of times greater than before, proof that the dragon expert's essence blood was absolutely terrifying. If it weren't for all the previous preparations, there was no way Long Chen would have managed to take command of it. 
the dragon blood surged through his veins each drop containing an explosive energy akin to a dormant volcano ready to unleash devastation upon the world long chen sensed the blood's unruly nature as if it had a will of its own barely heeding his command he knew that he had to unleash their power or he himself would explode the contemptible human race isn't qualified to act arrogantly in front of the great kunpeng race even if you have obtained some ancestral dragon essence blood roared kun tu if the human race is so contemptible why do you take human form why don't you use your feathered animal form snorted long chen as long chen unleashed a punch the power raging in his body finally found an outlet to let it out that feeling of release made his blood boil but all of a sudden the sky turned ominous enveloped in impenetrable darkness that swallowed every trace of color time itself seemed to grow chaotic it was like everything passed in the blink of an eye yet also felt very long when people could finally see again they saw kun tu's giant body being sent tumbling back by long chen's punch causing a giant black hole to appear behind him a powerful force then tried to devour kun tu however with his huge body by spreading his wings he escaped the pull of the black hole at this moment a seven-colored supreme blood unleashed a wave of light that concealed a flag as the sun and moon flowed on top of the flag the stars in the heavens quivered and supreme kai unfurled long the ocean was also attacking with his trump cards he fully ignited his supreme blood and unleashed the greatest power from the sun moon five element flag with a force that caused the stars to shake and the nine heavens to change color the sun moon five element flag tore through space cutting heaven and earth in two long chen die long ayashin was clenching his teeth furiously he had originally thought that once he fully activated his supreme blood his power would soar to the point that he could easily slay long chen unexpectedly long chen encountered an even greater opportunity causing his power to grow explosively this then sparked envy and deep-seated hatred within long ayashin's heart as someone very prideful he considered joining forces with others to be a huge insult let's see if you have that ability long chen sneered with disdain after that his body twisted and his legs swung out like a whip Boom. an even greater explosion erupted shaking every inch of the three thousand worlds from above the heavens it appeared as if the entire world was starting to tear as a result countless native life forms in the three thousand worlds were staring in horror in this direction not knowing what was going on after kicking long ayashin away long chen felt a sword targeting his back he then snorted and reached out for that sword with his bare hand however just as his hand was about to grab the tip of that sword a dagger appeared with a cold glint stabbing for the back of his head chapter three thousand nine hundred nineteen give you a gift you dare to bring out such an insignificant trick long chen sneered jai wuming's assassination arts might be terrifying to others but they were nothing to him especially after he had merged with the ancestral dragon essence blood with this sacred halo of light in place long chen viewed jai wuming's spatial arts as a joke however even before long chen could react to it a small figure already charged over stabbing a dagger toward jai wuming minjiu long chen was startled as he felt that dong minjiu's aura was weaker now less than a third of her peak big brother long chen i want this person's head that is my agreement with my master Don minjiu began to repeatedly force jai wuming back her position angle of attack and speed were all so perfect that jai wuming couldn't even counterattack but you long chen was a bit worried this was unfair wasn't it don minju didn't need to force herself to this extent as he could deal with jai wuming big brother long chen trust me 
this is the trial my master left to me, so I must accomplish this. Dong Minju's figure suddenly vanished. When she reappeared, she was already hundreds of miles away, her dagger striking like lightning. But to the people's surprise, Dong Minju's dagger was severed by Jai Wuming's dagger. Minju, be careful. Imputa is in another world sending power to him. The support multiplies his power, and his weapon also becomes sharper, warned Long Chen. Just then, Long Aoshin, Kun Tu, Shi Yang, Jai Wuming, Yin Cheng Sheng, the nine underworld Liuacha, and Wang Tianyo attack Long Chen all at once. As for the mysterious beast cultivator, he led over a hundred peak experts toward Meng Kai and the others without any sense of shame. Idiots! Do you really think we're some soft persimmons? Yuo Ran furiously charged out. However, a ray of sword Kai was even faster than him, slaying a double supreme heavenly genius instantly. Even in his weak state, Yu Zifeng's sword Kai was still so sharp. Meng Kai, the pill fairy, Bai Shishi and the others all attacked. The Dragonblood Legion once more entered their formation to face these experts. Gu Yang then fought the beast cultivator. As they faced each other, the ten thousand dragons in Gu Yang's manifestation roared at the ten thousand beasts in the beast cultivator's manifestation, unleashing a torrent of attacks at each other. Even an injured tiger isn't something a group of hyenas can bully. Dragonblood cross slash. Yuo ran attacked and sent over ten powerful life forms flying. At that moment, Little Snow unleashed a wind blade sphere that exploded amongst them. Cloud also returned to her true form, shooting out black streaks of light that directly split their enemies in two. While Menkai and the others were in a weak state, this time they finally had the number advantage. As for their opponents, while they looked fine, they had just received Long Chen's dragon roars at the Nine Heavens. Although they looked fine on the surface, they were actually injured inside. With both sides having their disadvantages, what they were competing with was their wills. As a result, in just a few exchanges, Meng Kai and the others slew dozens of enemies. Seeing this scene, those experts lost their courage and scattered no longer even thinking about getting the ancestral dragon essence blood from Long Chen. They had only been thinking about killing a few of Long Chen's people as vengeance for their slain comrades. Then they would at least be able to give an explanation to their elders when they got back. However, the Dragonblood Legion was too powerful and had surpassed their expectations. After all, these people were from different races and powers. Without any sense of unity, they could be considered a rabble of forces. Thus, with a little show of power, they cowered and the battle ended in an instant. The beast cultivator saw this change. Although he had taken the advantage against Gu Yang, beating the latter wasn't a matter of one or two moves. Seeing the others run, he knew that he would be surrounded if he didn't retreat, so he immediately fled as well. However, just as he retreated, an earthen wall silently appeared around him, making him run into it head first. The beast cultivator had not expected a wall to suddenly appear like that. Although it wasn't thick, it was extremely tough enough to make him dazed. Want to go? Leave your life behind first. Lai Kai and Song Minju attacked with their rods. Having finished absorbing the Yuan spirit fragments hanging in the air, the malevolent spirits roared behind them. Now, within the entire Dragon Blood Legion, they were the strongest existences. Just as the beast cultivator was dazed from slamming into the wall unexpectedly, an arrow directly pierced his head. The beast cultivator didn't even have time to react and was killed by this arrow. The attacker was Mo Nian. I didn't manage to do anything today. At least one head will count. Mo Nian was as pale as paper, but he still gave off the indifferent air of an expert. As Mo Nian was the one who had summoned the barrier, he had suffered the most to keep it up. 
Furthermore, that coffin was a divine item nourished with his soul. So, when it was broken, his soul was also damaged. He didn't have much energy left, but seeing a chance to get ahead, he didn't hesitate, summoning what remained of his energy to directly eliminate one enemy, accomplishing a not-too-beautiful display of power. Just at this moment, everyone heard a crisp sound in the distance. Startled, they saw that Dong Minju's other dagger was also severed by Jai Wuming. An assassin often had two daggers, one in forward grip and one in reverse grip. They could then switch between them or fight with just one. After her first dagger was broken, Dong Minju did her best to avoid clashing with Jai Wuming directly, but after dozens of exchanges, she was forced to use her second dagger to block, resulting in it being broken as well. A line of blood appeared on her forehead. If she had been the slightest bit slower, her head would have been cut apart. Now you've lost your daggers, like a viper without its fangs. All that awaits you is death. Jai Wuming's attacks increased in intensity. Without any misgivings, he pressed her back. For an assassin, relying on outside power is the greatest tragedy. Dong Minju's expression changed slightly after losing her daggers. She then repeatedly dodged his attacks. Suddenly, a black streak of light shot toward Jai Wuming's back. Jai Wuming instinctively dodged, and the black light continued toward Dong Minju. Minju, this is my gift to you, shouted Long Chen. Dong Minju reached out and caught a pitched black dagger. Chapter 3920 Fighting Powerful Enemies Dong Minju caught the dagger and smoothly used it, perfectly intercepting Jai Wuming's attack. Jai Wuming's dagger was covered in a layer of white light, representing his faith divine radiance, which effortlessly cut apart Dong Minju's daggers. However, now that she wielded the dagger that Long Chen had given her, that impervious, unstoppable light actually had a nick cut into it. It turned out that Dong Minju's dagger displayed great resistance toward faith energy. With the dagger in her grasp, Dong Minju was revitalized. She then executed a movement art, summoning multiple figures that swiftly unleashed a tempest of attacks toward Jai Wuming. Facing this, despite the support of his faith energy, Jai Wuming found himself retreating in a state of panic. His faith energy was terrifying, but no matter how great the power was, it was meaningless if it couldn't strike its target. Even with Jai Wuming's control over space-time and his status as a double supreme, his movement, art, and speed were clearly a level lower than Dong Minju's. Thus, now that his faith energy was rendered ineffective, Dong Minju's onslaught left him gasping for breath and on the verge of coughing up blood. On the other side, Long Aoshin, Kun Tu, Xiang, Yin Changsheng, the Nine Underworld Liuacha, and Wang Tianya were still attacking Long Chen. All of them were unleashing their full power, burning their souls, igniting their blood, and summoning their faith energy. All kinds of trump cards were used at this moment. They knew that this was no longer a matter of maintaining their dignity or getting the dragon blood. If they were to lose today, with so many of them joining forces against Long Chen, their Dao hearts would be broken. If that happened, a heart devil would very likely emerge during their next tribulation. In fact, Long Chen might be replicated by the heavenly Daos to face them in their heavenly tribulation, and in the end, they would still die because of him. As everyone fought, Long Aoshin and Kun Tu's power continuously rose, as if power was welling out of them limitlessly. It was as if they were using Long Chen to temper themselves, to grasp a better understanding of their own power. Not willing to be outdone, Xi Yang, Yin Changsheng, the Nine Underworld Liu Acha, and Wang Tianyao unleashed a barrage of devastating techniques, showcasing their own formidable powers. Wang Tianyao in particular was attacking crazily. His lightning tower was unleashing rays of divine light, constantly interfering with Long Chen. In fact, he was trying to suck Long Chen inside the tower. 
Bad fellow, take this. Suddenly, Lei Linger appeared and attacked Wang Tanyao, using the wild blade in her hand to stab him. Contrary to everyone's expectation, seeing Lei Linger come out, Wang Tianyao was actually delighted. I was waiting for you. Lightning sees curse. Lei Linger then let out a startled cry. The wild blade actually escaped her control and flew toward Wang Tianyao. As Wang Tianyao firmly grasped the sword, a torrent of lightning erupted from its surface, illuminating the battlefield with its brilliance. At the same time, his lightning tower was rumbling along with him. When these two divine items formed a resonance, their berserk power flowed into Wang Tianyao, causing his aura to grow explosively. This tower and blade were a set of lightning divine items, one used for offense and the other for defense. Hence, it was only once Wang Tianyao had both of these divine items that he could unleash his full thunder force. Die! Wielding the wild blade, Wing Tanya let out a furious roar that summoned raging lightning which actually forced back Long Aoshin, Kun Tu, Shi Yang, Yin Chang Sheng, and the nine underworld Yuacha. As the wild blade slashed down, lightning unfurled and an ear-splitting explosion shook the world. Facing it, Long Chen unleashed a punch and was actually forced to retreat by the impact. With every step, the void beneath his feet collapsed. Long Chen, why don't you keep acting arrogant? This is my true power, and it is time for you to die. Wang Tianyao laughed, almost like a madman. When his wild blade was snatched, he was incredibly aggrieved. Without it, he couldn't properly unleash his thunder force. Although the lightning tower was powerful, it wasn't a true offensive divine item, so using it to fight was naturally difficult. Now that he had finally reclaimed the wild blade, he could no longer suppress the furious rage inside of him. As lightning flashed beneath his feet, he shot at Long Chen alone. It seemed that he wanted a one-on-one -on -one fight against Long Chen. In front of the indomitable Wing Tianyao, Long Chen slowly raised his hand and beckoned slightly. Everyone looked at him oddly. Seeing this gesture, Wang Tianyao smiled sinisterly and then lit up the lightning runes on his sword and the lightning tower behind him. As his power crazily climbed, the two lightning divine items grew brighter and brighter. However, just as the intensity of their light reached its peak, both of Wang Tianyao's lightning divine items vanished. What? Wang Tianyao was dumbfounded. He was originally charging toward Long Chen confidently, so in an instant, he panicked when he found himself unarmed and defenseless. However, while he panicked, Long Chen didn't. Now, the hand that he had raised viciously struck Wang Tianyao in the face, sending Wang Tianyao flying like a shooting star that left behind a streak of lightning in its wake. Mo Nian and the others were also surprised and found it funny. This odd scene was truly surprising. Just how arrogant had Wang Tianyao been just now? But in the blink of an eye, he was sent flying miserably. It was quite the visual impact. Wang Tianyao, why don't you keep acting arrogant? This is my true power, and it's time for you to die. To everyone's surprise, Lei Linger held the wild blade in her hand, and a lightning tower materialized behind her. With a pleased expression, she spat back Wang Tianyao's words to himself. Boom! Struck by the wild blade, Wang Tianyao hacked up blood and was blown even further back. Bitch! Wang Tianyao roared crazily. You're the bitch. You're going to curse people just because you fell for their trick. What a bitch, what an idiot. Did you think that I would return the wild blade to you so easily? You're too naive. I just wanted the wild blade to commune with your tower so that they could both renounce the dark and join the light. Come to realize the truth, you bitch. Lei Linger shouted back at him before continuing to attack with the wild blade. Having lost his weapons, Wang Tianyao was forced back 
miserably, repeatedly coughing up blood. He tried to reclaim his divine weapons using secret arts multiple times, but in Leilinger's hands, the wild blade and the tower didn't even seem to recognize him. No matter what technique he used, they ignored him. Wang Chaniao roared furiously, but mere roars couldn't do anything. He was forced back miserably by Lei Linger, unable to even counterattack. He wanted to run, but he was also unwilling to lose both of his peerless divine weapons. Thus, he was still doing everything he could to reclaim them. On the other side, with Wang Tianyao out of the picture, Long Aoshin, Kun Tu, Shi Yang, Yin Chang Sheng, and the nine underworld Liu Aoshin's attacks grew smoother as they fought Long Chen. Suddenly, Shi Yang's wings exploded, and countless black blood runes transformed into millions of corpse insects that burrowed into his body. As a result, Shi Yang's body cackled and creaked. Ah, oh, it's finally complete. Although I lose the two wings, it's worth it to truly awaken this divine ability. Long Chen, take this. As Shi Yang raised his head and laughed, his immemorial aura erupted like a volcano. However, this corpse of his actually withered. Following that, a withered hand reached toward Long Chen. At the center of its sharp claws was a horrifying rune that looked like the eye of a devil. When it appeared, a terrifying deathly will instantly locked onto Long Chen.